Hey there. What's up? Welcome to Proudly Radical. Oh, hey, Kaiser. Hello, everyone. Boom. Boom. I was receiving screenshots of some of your shenanigans. Um, somebody enjoys trolling the tankies, I see. Duffy. Um, <laughs> you just gifted it. Did you mean to? Was that random or did you really intend to gift the bot uh, a gift sub? Uh, either way, thank you for the gift sub. <laughs> uh, random. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. I wish we could exclude them. <laughs> um, let's see. Can I actually... Hmm. Just a quick test. Okay, that comes across as me, not the bot. Um, let's do, ah, fuck it. Let's just do a tanky command for the hell of it. And yep, there's the, the sub. Oh, Jesus Christ. It pulls from the entire user list from what I understand, which I don't think it should, but it does. Uh, I don't think we'll be expecting to see Prime back anytime soon. Um... Hey, RV, uh, and uh, that's to someone else. Yes, um, that's Prime Case. Um, hey, RV, and thank you for the resub. Four months streak, look at that. <clears throat> and thank you again, Duffy. Um, so my legs are on fire, my hands are on fire. My neuropathy is pretty bad because I've run three times since Friday. Um, I've sort of said, fuck it, um, and I'm on a streak. I... I there's going to come a moment where I have to stop. I have to dial back. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to have to because of the neuropathy. But um, I, ultimately speaking, you know, for the time being, I, I just, you know, I was a runner for my entire life. And um, once I start, it's weird enjoying previous injuries because when I was out, um, I was I was feeling my right knee and my right ankle, which um, I, I have multiple previous injuries to from a variety of sports. Um, it um, basically my small fiber nerves, uh, which are responsible for like vibration sensations, cold, heat, and qu uh, and pain reception. Um, are being eaten alive by my body, Duffy. So, like, right now, my hands are buzzing and are mildly burning. My feet and basically from a little, about mid-thigh down feel like I am submerged in hot water. Like, hot water. Um, and this can whole body. Um, small fiber, uh, small fiber polyneuropathy. Um... Missed, messed up your meniscus. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ, cat. Running injured my calf. We'll stick to walking fast for now. Um, man, I was going crazy with kettlebells last night. Says Kaiser. Friend of mine said he thinks it probably... Wait, wait, wait. What am I fucking seeing here? Did I miss something? Um, oh, and hey, Goofy, and hey, Alo, hey, Wither, hey, Sirius, hey, Duffy, uh, no, hey, Amaris, uh, Amaris was in first. Um, all right, so let me scroll back down. Um, did Prime Case get the message that you really love debates? Probably, uh, Amaris, probably. I'd like you to hear Steelman Monarchy, by the way. Is that something, is that a reference to something that I'm not familiar with, or no? Okay. Um, Sphere, a friend of mine said he thinks... It prioritizes people who come and then leave shortly. Oh, to try and get them to come back, I guess. From my experience, that's what uh, that's when I get gift subs. Interesting. Um, that's that's interesting to hear, Sphere. Thank you for like uh, you know that insight, Duffy. Jesus Christ! Thank you again uh, for the five gift bong. Who got them? Six foot. Well, I know six foot. Golf vet. Don't know them. Sphere is in chat. Cat is in chat. And Lobby CA. I know them as well. Um, all right. Well, thank you, Duffy. Uh, once again, uh, mad props. And uh, yeah, um, well, what can we do? Uh, round of applause. Why not? Amazing. 
Um, let's see. I hate running, says Alo. I love running. I, I absolutely adore running. Um, that sounds unbearable to say the least. It is. Um, and I don't take medication for it. I don't, uh, because the medication that they more often than not issue um, are either things like uh, things that slow down nervous system responses or things like tricyclic antidepressants. So the tricyclic antidepressants have a long-term usage um, that trends towards uh, early onset dementia. Hey, RV, thank you for the biddies. Um, and the, uh, various things that they prescribe, um, for, you know, uh, slowing nervous responses slows your brain. There's no way around that. It slows your cognitive processes as a side effect. Um, and so I just suffer. It's, I'm existing through sheer will, f willpower at these days. Um, hey, skeptic. Uh, sorry, dear. I have ligament issues. Pretty painful. Oof. Uh, so your pain receptor is being eaten away. Does that mean it goes away for good? Is it just constant? It's just constant for now, Wither. Um, fucking, I'm drunk and I enjoyed the commentary you've provided. Well, Duffy, enjoy your buzz and thank you kindly. I, I, I do my best. Ugh, just doing that with my hair, my hands. Um, okay, skeptic, you know the deal. Um, ask away. I used to love running, get past that pain and it's all gravy and you get the rhythm. Oh, goofy, somebody who's definitely a runner. That was when I went out last week for the first time in ages and ages, the rhythm of the road. I honestly, I, I could have shed tears just, just feeling the, I was so fucking happy just to, just to hear it again or feel it again. Yeah. Uh, honestly. Um, runner's high is great. Getting there is hell. Hey, Viva. Um, oh, oh there's Gulf Vet. Um, here stalking. Um, was it? Hang on. Let me just cross check. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I thought. Um, how far did I run? Um, well, let's see. That shaves the point too. So one and a half miles. Yeah, three laps of my neighborhood is approximately half a mile each way and three laps. Um, my cardio is shit. My cardio is utter shit. At the end, I was just dragging ass. Um, but yeah. Oh, cat, no. Running will destroy your knees. Um... Oh, sorry, sidewalk. Um, loved running too. Running with my dog. Even got third, pl uh, third, third place at the Dog Sports German Nationals back in the days, but I really don't enjoy it anymore for some reason. So that's fair enough. Uh, no, it doesn't. Um, yeah, yeah, Duffy. Uh, the first time I went out last or late last week, I could barely drag my ass around one time. Uh, when I got back, I was fucking... <sighs> I've already tripled the number. It's, it's, you know, my cardio is shit, but my cardio was always good my entire life. So, you know, even if I slack for a decade, it comes back pretty quickly. Uh, no knee or joint problems? Oh, no, I have knee and joint problems. Um, <laughs> um, I live in a constant state of pain. My, like, my knee pain or my ankle pain doesn't even compare to what I experience on a daily basis. It's like having a bullet wound in your shoulder and then someone kind of punch you in the knee. You're like, you know, I barely even noticed that, right? Like my nervous system is so overloaded with other information that honestly, and my pain threshold has been reset completely at this point. What I used to consider like, jaw, like r just exercise ending pain barely even registers these days on my scale so oh jesus christ duffy duffy uh irrevagon uh radavandar barbecue mr frank m and comrade chunky dunk i think those are all prime k's uh raiders actually 
But either way, Duffy, whether it goes to somebody I know or not, thank you kindly for the gift subs. And by the way, you don't have to do anonymous. You can just pick people. Like, you can just pick people. Um, let's see. All right, let me scroll up. Would you? Okay, so would you agree that complete dismantlement and abolishment of the state of Israel is the only viable option? N oh, okay. First, skeptic. Let me, um, so will kicking shit repeatedly with several hundred pounds of force. All right, fair enough, cat. Fair enough. Um, this is going to, cat, you know I love you. You know I love you, cat. You need to lose a few pounds before you start running. It, that's what will destroy your joints. Yeah. It's just the truth of the matter. It running's a lot easier on us skinny fox. Hey, bread pill. Um, okay. So skeptic per your previous question, opinions on, um, Oh, thank you. Um, British truck driver. We rated. I'll be back. I, I need to go say bye. No worries. Be over. Say hi to him. Tell him proudly radical says hi. I love his stream. Um, Skeptic, what do I? What's my opinion on the like genocidal cannibal maniac that is Robert? That is Robert Mugabe. He's a genocidal cannibal. Like, okay, so the cannibalism is rumored. The genocide isn't. So, um, <laughs> fuck that guy. <laughs> um. In place cycling is better on the knees. It is so much easier, but it doesn't have the same rhythm. Um, Viva, it was long rumored that Mugabe was a cannibal. Yes. Um, if I started in place jogging now, I'd die doing a mile. Next week, I'd die in two. In a month, I'd be doing seven. Humans are men for distance. We are. We're slow as fuck, but we're determined. Hey, distance runners, we used to run them to death. Um, let's see. Respect for working through it running. Uh, thank you, Zumi. Um, <laughs> it's an interesting world. Fair enough, cat. Um, yes, the old Israel question. Um, okay, so I mean, as an anarchist, I don't believe in nation states to begin begin with, right? Um, oh my God, Duffy! I hope you don't regret any of these. Um, I don't know why the bot is losing its fucking mind, but it just did. Um. Uh, Ray, uh, Reedsters himself, himself, Wilhelm, Big Bear, Sassy, DeFreak, Bob Lee, Timothy the Butcher, some more, and the Silly Serious, all gifted gift subs. Duffy, thank you so much. I, I, Duffy fucking kicking it out tonight. Um, <laughs> yeah, I hope you, I hope you don't regret these. Um, and thank you for the biddies, RV. Um, oh, Amorous kicking it off with the fucking 10,000, like, really, well, I mean, I suppose it was, uh, there's the hype train. Um, it's already pretty high due to Duffy. Um, thank you, Duffy. Thank you, RV and, uh, Amorous. Thank you as well. Um, Hey, Wilhelm. All right, so let me try and catch up here. Is Mugabe still alive? I don't know whether Mugabe's still alive. Um, no, he died. He died two years ago-ish, year and a half. Um, sidewalk. Uh, Raider Vandar, are you still optimistic about future medical breakthroughs, being able to address at least some of your issues at this point? No. Uh, uh, Raider Vandar, no, because it's not really so much medical breakthroughs. It would be financial and like health insurance breakthroughs that could help me and nerve damage is mostly permanent so the damage that has been done is done at this point i'm i'm sort of condemned to wither thank you for the the gift sub who got it tenderizer got the gift sub and thank you so much um but what had said <laughs> to some genocide um rv with another 200 biddies thank you rv um, let's see. All right. So let me try and catch up here. Uh, oh, lovely, lovely skeptic. Um, I don't, this channel has been good to me. Well, then thank you very much, Duffy. And I'm glad to have created a space in which it's good to you. Hey, Sue. Um, okay. 
Hang on, let me... The bot is overwhelmed, yes. What kind of monarchist are you now? I like absolute monarchy with anarchist tendencies. Yes, all of these interviews with Harry and Meghan have converted me. I'm now... I, I think I'm going to be a monarchist because reasons. I... Hey, Goofy, thank you for the biddies. Um, I don't understand this fucking weird-ass American obsession with monarchies. Like, I could have sworn we shot a bunch of these fuckers in the faces over this stuff. But hey, you know... Princess die. I don't know. Uh, um. Oof. Hey, and more from RV. Thank you for the extra 200 biddies, RV. Oh, thank you kindly. Um. At the okay, fair enough. Anarcho monarchism. Yes, exactly. That's what we're shooting for now. Uh, do you have strong feelings about Marxist Leninist states? Well, I mean, okay, I've started to feel disillusioned with the left for advocating authoritarian regimes that would have me killed. Bread pill, if you want to come on the air anytime and discuss that, I will discuss that with you on the air. I will quickly address it, of course. I'm not like pushing the the discussion aside. I'm just saying if you want to have that conversation as somebody who has been anti authoritarian. I mean, basically his entire life. Um, hey, Left Bank. Uh, thank you for the raid. Thank you for the host. And hello uh, to Left Bank's uh, party. Um, welcome, raiders. Uh, do the thing. Click the logo or whatever the fuck I'm supposed to tell you to do. But either way, welcome. Um, thank you. We're just sort of getting kicked off for the night. There's a, there's a level four hype train going right now. Um, let's see. Oh, extreme anarcho-monarchism. Uh, time for an exosuit. Yes, exactly, Duffy. I'm just trying to catch up on chat. Uh, what caused your condition, Kai? Be over. I do believe that it is autoimmune-driven. Um, but, you know, getting a doctor to actually come on board with that when you don't have, like, rheumatoid markers, it's a whole fucking thing. Um, no, I don't mind you asking, of course. Apart from the pain, does it impair you in any way, like, feeling less uh, uh, ARV with the 300 more biddies? Um, fucking here, let's do a capitalism. Uh, there's 48 seconds left for the hype train to be finished. Hey, there's another, uh, for two gifted a, a tier one to left bank. Thank you for two. Uh, and congratulations left bank. Um, uh, I mean, Viva, it's mostly it's pain and depression resulting from the pain. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Duffy with five more. I think that's what five. 10, uh, 5, 10, 15, 25. Yeah, Duffy, you've officially gifted 25 subs this stream alone. Um, Duffy, thank you for the gift subs. Uh, Bread Pill, uh, Zoop Tubes, uh, Just Bender, Lily Bug Row, and AZ Wanderer. Congratulations, and you can thank Duffy for those gift subs. And RV has gifted a sub to zero. Who comes around from time to time? Let's do a capital. <laughs> Let's do a capitalism. Exactly, Ayla. Um, we did a capitalism, everyone. Everyone, we did a capitalism. Uh, do I have a boo? No. <laughs> what kind of garbage is that? Oops, my anarchy symbol. There we go. Um. Oh. <laughs> uh. All right, um, and if you haven't followed Left Bank, everyone, um, Left uh, Left Bank's link is in chat. You got monarchism. Uh, you got to scroll up a little bit, but hey, uh, I owe you more than nine. But here's a few comrades. Left Bank, by all means, I just appreciate uh, the solidarity. Um, thank you kindly. Uh, I was actually just on Left Bank stream tonight discussing Israel with another person on the stream. Oh well, okay then. Um, yeah, uh, bread pill. Um, basically. <sighs> A lot of the left has very authoritarian, uh, very authoritarian tendencies that they don't want to come to terms with it. Or if they do want to come to terms with it, they're perfectly content with it. There's a lot of MLs that are, I mean, this is, I mean, I've read this probably, what, three times in a week now, something like that. Here's bread pill here's the quote this is Kropok, uh, i'm sorry this is bakunin talking about marx marx is an authoritarian and centralizing communist he wants what we want the complete triumph of economic and social equality but he wants it in state through the state power through the dictatorship of the very strong and so to say despotic provisional government and it is by the negation of liberty his economic ideals the state is the sole owner of the land and all kinds of capital cultivating the land and the management of state engineers and controlling all industry and commercial associations with state capital we want the same triumph of economic and social equality through the abolition of the state and all that passes in the name of law which in our view is the permanent negation of human rights we want the reconstruction of society and the unification of mankind to be achieved not from downwards uh, not from above downwards by any sort of authority 
nor by socialist officials, engineers, and other accredited men of learning, but from below upwards by the freedom of all kinds of workers' associations liberated from the yoke of the state. All right. So, I mean, this is the fundamental difference. This has existed from moment one, like the first international, right? Bakunin and Marx are doing it. And this is the difference between most MLs, um, all MLs, and anarchists, is we are, we're for it. We just want it willingly. We want the populace to go into this as fully realized autonomous individuals, and then to empower the social group, not to inflict more state violence on the individual to, in the name of empowering the social group. So this is where we, this is where we differ. This is where we come at this. We both want the, the sort of like same, same end goal, it, you know, when all is said and done, but anarchists feel that the, uh, the ends don't, nece- don't justify the means. That if you have to re-empower the state and just shuffle a hierarchy, that that's not actual progress. And so, yeah, I'd be happy to discuss this on air with you, Brad. Um, Anytime. You let me know. All right. So let me catch up on Jack. Uh, (laughs) Duffy's, uh, if I had kids, they'd be starving right now. Um, Let's see. Successful scam train. (laughs) Scam train. Um, should museums empty their galleries of art offensive to some, not, uh, not all feminist LGBT ethnicities, etc. No, zoom me. I think they should empty their, I think they should return the stolen items. Um, but, um, things that are offensive. No, that's not my, it's not my thing. Uh, thank you for donating and becoming a member. You're welcome. Proudly radical station. <laughs> nice, re- nice read stars. Um, Hey, news world. I will pop that open. I will get to it in a second. I just want to catch up on chat. Um, Let's see. Um, Mugabe used to be a revolutionary superstar who's, who, who helped Zimbabwe gain independence from the British Empire, but over the years became a hyper authoritarian. It's the way it always works, skeptic. It's the way it always works. Um, yeah, I kind of feel that centralizing power for a transition will never work and will always lead to horrible consequences. Fear. It has every it, 10 times out of 10. 10 times out of 10. It, it's literally, that's the way it's worked. Um, Uh, apparently a juror on the George Floyd trial is saying that he's afraid his uh, people are going to attack his house and they'll come for his wife and kids. Um, that just depends on the verdict that they render, I suppose. Um, Jack Posobiec is like an alt-right Oof. Antifa, um, anti-Antifa type, FYI. Um, okay. Conspiracy theorist, internet troll, pro dump, pro dump, pro Donald Trump, uh, white supremacist, anti eh, seems like a good guy. Um, okay. Duly noted. Um, let's see. I just want everyone to be in charge as equivalently as possible. Uh, Zen, that is sort of the idea. Um, it's hard to see people with auth tendencies to be considered as people wanting to control. It's hard not to see people with auth tendencies to be considered as people wanting to control other people. State violence, equal politics. Um, no, I mean, in the traditional philosophical sense, whether, no, um, it does not. It, it, politics does not equal state violence. State violence does not necessarily equal politics. Um, I mean, at the end of the day, everything's politics. I think believing in left unity is impossible once you actually start paying attention to the auth left. Australia. Um... Q memeing, I'm sorry. Um, okay. Um, Halo, go for it. Um, so what were you going to say about Israel? Um, skeptic, I, I don't, I mean, as an anarchist, I don't believe in the nation state to start with. So, I mean, start from that position. Um, secondly, I have, I'm a firm believer that anywhere Britain has drawn a border, you will have strife and turmoil probably forever. Um, so I think the sectarian carving, uh, the sectarian carving up of what was integrated uh, ethnicities, uh, uh, integrated ethic, uh, ethnic um, states to start with, and then dispersing them based on artificial um, political lines that Britain created, basically is a recipe 
for disaster. Now, I know Israel isn't solely Britain's creation. I'm fully aware of this. Um, but, I mean, if you look at the track record, this doesn't work well. And saying, okay, okay, well, there was a problem. So everybody, we're just going to draw a line down the middle. Well, not the middle. We're just going to, could you just scoot over a little bit? A little further, a little further, a little further, a little further. Okay, we're going to draw the line right here. And um, I'm sure, you know, everybody who believes this X, go over there. Everybody who believes Y, go over there. I'm sure everything will be okay. I'm just going to be over here for a little bit. And uh, what the fuck? It's just not a... It's not a tenable solution as it stands. So, there you go. Um, sounds like a bias journal. Uh, <laughs> ML definition. Marxist Leninist me be over. Um, Mag loser. Love it. Uh, News World about Derek Chauvin riots soon. Don't worry, everyone will have food, but you need to work hard that time. Um, nice News World. Oh, um, I actually have some video from uh, Myanmar. Um, uh, to show, I think I can, yeah, I can, I can show it. I think I can show it. I know I can show one. I don't know if I can show the second one, but I'm going to show the second one. Um, authoritarian left. Uh, we picking on the Harry Megan tonight. Sue, I just, you know, after hearing their desperate pleas and their heartfelt story, you know, millionaire ro uh, ex-royalty speaking to a billionaire celebrity on a multi-million dollar estate, you know, I was touched. I was moved. And ideologically, I, I just feel that maybe my entire life has been wrong. All of my deep felt, deep, deeply held beliefs and philosophies are off base. And maybe I should just reconsider that royalty knows best. Or fuck those assholes. You privileged, whiny cunts. Jesus fucking Christ. Me. Swear to God. In <laughs> bread monarchism. Anarcho monarchism one, I know, right? Uh, admit it, you choked up. Admit it, I haven't seen the damn interview. All I have seen is that single meme image of them whining to Oprah and Oprah like reacting or whatever. Jesus Christ. Uh. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, his his trust fund is worth like $25 million or some shit, right? Like, sure, he doesn't have the crown jewels anymore, but he never had them. His trust fund, he's, he's got a $25 million trust fund. Wah! Learn to live within your means. Oh my God, I can't stand that kind of shit. <laughs> That's pretty good. Don't, hear my, don't swear, man. Don't hurt my virgin ears. Sorry, skeptic. Um, blue blood anarchism. Uh, I think democratic confederalism might be a good pitch to convince other leftists uh, to join the anarcho cult. Uh, a for France, B for the UK, K for, uh, 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 chaos for everyone else. <laughs> yep, there's the map. Eastern Turkey and Asia, Syria and Western Persia. Those are some names we haven't seen in a while. Fucking Fertus with the deep cut. Uh, yeah, no, I, I have no tolerance or patience for that sort of bullshit. Um, yeah, but if all of his brother's family would have died, he would have been next in line. Shit, if I had 20 plus million dollar trust fund, I'd be living very well. Sue, I honestly, y'all wouldn't know who the fuck I am if I had a 20 million dollar trust fund. If I had a 20 million dollar trust fund, I'd be living in the Caribbean and I'd be living my best life. Trust me. Like, I'd be doing shit down there, don't get me wrong, but unless I made national news, ain't no way y'all would have even heard of me. I'd be chilling and funding some shit on the side. Um, yeah, if my aunt had wheels, she'd be a bicycle. Um, convince the aus to come over. Mm. That's the thing with her, it's... Oh. Um, mild author authoritarian tendencies you can work with. Um, yeah, exactly, Cat. Yeah, exactly. 
Um, Diane, Diane and Fondo. Um, let's see where she was. Um, she's a lovely human being. That's that's something rare, uh, considering first Anarcho News Channel. Yeah, full on propagandist. Cat, cat. This is dude. This is why Cat and I get along. We differ on a few points of contention, but honestly, we think a lot alike, despite the beatings to the head and the many years of abuse difference. Uh, I beat the shit out of my brain and body over time. Cat just took a more direct route. <laughs> but yeah, we do we do consider these things very similarly. Uh, uh, let's see. I don't even know what a comrade monk is. He's an old friend. Not sure the whole deal, except the past 10 years. He seems to have been in Myanmar in robes, chilling with... Uh, yeah, I think not on, on such. He told me he's a monk. I don't know. And our good news channel? Yeah, why not? Um, all right. So let's see if I can't grab a couple of these videos. Uh, we'll throw them on the screen. Oh, yeah. And by the way, Twitch now, like, we're getting social credit scores on Twitch as streamers. Um, brand risk score. So fuck, fuck, motherfuck, motherfuck, fuck. I don't know if that disqualifies me, but in case, because it's done manually by Twitch staff too. So I don't know what's going to offend them. Uh, I'm not a pro nation state. I'm not a nationalist. Um, I don't give a shit about your hierarchies. Capitalism is evil. Fuck all of your advertisers. Um, cunt twat. Um, let's see. What else can I say that'll piss these idiots off? I think the anarchist should cover for you, Kai. Um, hey, Raphael. Um, Anarcho Piers Morganist in it. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, we're getting we're getting like brand risk scores now. Apparently, um, play some rated M games. Yeah, I don't stream games. Um, all right, where is it? Hold on, let me find it. There we go. First one up. All right, you shut the fuck up. Um, bitch, what the fuck was that? There we go. Uh, your chat influenced your brand score. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, you could go the Michael Richards route. I'm sure this is surefire. Raphael, I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> Thanks for the recommendation, though. Um, Jesus. My mother is super out of touch, but she told me today that Megan was horrible to the Royal Palace staff and in fact, it acts very authoritarian when she would appear to staff. Um, I don't doubt it. And hey there, stream. Uh, I don't want to shut the fuck up. I'll be talking four days. Um, Twitch, I love you. Give Kai an S+. <laughs> you can tell what kind of games you play with her. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Sue. It's a bunch of bullshit. Um, it's just capitalism. Um, here we go. Um, so this was a couple of days ago in Myanmar. Um, this was, uh, Sancha, look, I can't say any of these fucking names. Uh, Senchong, uh, Yangon, Myanmar. Um, so this was a thing. Yeah, um, and in this video, um, the people, uh, Estrella, what's happening? Um, people getting shot. That's what's happening. Yeah, that's, that's people dying. Um, the military in Myanmar is, um, using live ammunition. That's motherfuckers being dead. Uh, stream, no, no, I'm not even considering doing that until COVID has died down entirely. Like, that's not even, I'm uh, not even a consideration. Um, <laughs> Myanmar, war or fireworks? Um, that's not even a consideration until this shit has died down. Um, till I have my vaccinations and the bad pew pews, exactly. And, uh, COVID has tamped down a little bit. Uh, hey, Misha. Um, sorry. Yeah, Misha's, Misha, and, um, shout out to, uh, uh Shout out to Misha. Um, 
Misha streams are very happy. Um, and so <laughs> Misha walks into my room, motherfuckers die. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, Misha. Um, but welcome. Hey there. Nice to see you. Um, yeah. Have you, but Kai, have you considered that they deserved it because like Islamophobia or some shit? Yeah, exactly. Um, no, no, I am definitely not a virtual learner for sure. Stream. Um, nice. Yeah. I'm further down the list. Um, okay. So the, uh, I, as I have been informed, um, the people who are on the ground, uh, in this video are, uh, medical students who are acting as street medics for the protesters. <clears throat> Short video. But I think you get the point. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? Yeah. It's, I, don't, I run a, you know, we get goofy sometimes, Misha, but, you know, we talk about serious topics. Um, yeah, um, hate the virtual learning. Yeah, exactly. I just don't. Like, if you give me a virtual class, I'm not going to it. What video game was that? Yeah, exactly. Doesn't look that different from Portland. It's not. Authoritarian police states are going to be authoritarian police states, serious. It really doesn't matter whether you're in Myanmar, whether you're in the UK, whether you're in France, uh, Mexico, US. Doesn't really matter. Peru, Uruguay. Uruguay is pretty fucking baller these days, though. I mean, they got issues. Don't get me wrong, but it's a nice place. Um, a stream, um, a military junta that has been controlling the nation for a while now. Yeah, some are just allowed to shoot quicker with bigger guns. That's about the only difference. Exactly. Um, oh, let's see. What did uh, American Miller so to uh, genocide happens? Is there a bunch of pussy sheds? Yeah, there's no money in that, in stopping that. I feel like I've been so oblivious to all of this. Uh, Misha, look, I, I don't blame you. I, I you know, I, my community... And especially myself, we exist in a space where we make ourselves hyper aware of these sorts of things. Um, but yeah, spread the word. <laughs> spread the word. There's shit going down basically everywhere. Um, I mean, just take your pick. Indonesia, Myanmar, Iraq, Israel, Afghanistan, the UK, France, Italy, Germany, Spain, the US, Canada, Latin America, Central, uh, you know, Central and South America, uh, Australia. There's a lot of shit fuckery going on. And, you know, just look for a little bit and you'll find some bullshit. Um, but, you know, yeah, Canada is perfect. Um, Myanmar is very rarely discussed in American mainstream media. I, you know, I can sort of understand why, but, I, you know. Uh, wow, power to the people. Fuck a fascist government. Uh, for those of you who have never heard it, this is, I mean, it, you know, this is... Fucking things up, making everything shitty. It's profiles and shit fuckery. Perfect time as any. Um. <laughs> as a Canadian, fuck lying ass Canada. Um. Oh, yeah, Reed. Oh, yeah. Um. Let's see. I love that, though, that I can hear about this from you. Right. Thank you, Misha. Uh, what did Germany do again? Um, Germany's gotten a little weird with some of their, like, lockdowns and crackdowns and police responses to them. Also, by the way, Germany dis uh, disrupts squats and homeless shelters, uh, informal homeless shelters for marginalized communities. Um, places that anarchists and general leftists, anarchists are really good at setting up squats. Occasionally, socialists and communists will do it, but anarchists are fairly infamous for creating squats um, all across the globe. Um, they'll go in and they'll they'll disrupt 
Um, like uh, last year, they broke up uh, a fairly famous um, anarchist squat for transgendered marno- uh, homeless uh, people. And they did existed for a couple of years. And there was like 50 so odd people at this squat. They came in with like two or 300 federal police officers. Now, keep in mind, the anarchists knew this was coming miles away. They emptied the fucking place. There was nobody there to be arrested or detained whatsoever. Um, but they do shit like that still to this day. I mean, they're, you know, they're a nation state. They behave badly um, just as much as anybody else, really. Yes, that one. That one. Alo knows the name. Um... Little big 34 or whatever. However, I'm sorry for butchering your native tongue. Um, Germany doing Germany things. It's just, you know, it is what it is, right? Um, what do you expect from a nation state? What do you expect from a police state? That's that's par for the course. Um, but yeah, it's... They're not immune. <laughs> Send a bipartisan division led by Don Jr. and Hunter Biden for a healing session. Um... Let's see. Oh, okay, normal stuff again. Yeah, <laughs> FIFA, yeah, just just the normal stuff. Don't worry about it. Uh, speaking of war and shit happening, did you ever work with food? Not, uh, mm. Yeah, I've donated a shit ton to them over the years. Um, we even got into it because they were adhering to like some food safety standards that I thought were bullshit. And I'm like, look, you will you will dumpster dive for food, but you won't take. Uh, purposefully repackaged food from me that has been professionally packaged, nitrogen packed, and deep fr- uh, deep uh, froze uh, in vacuum packs uh, and stuff like that. And they're like, well, since it was handled in a non-professional environment, we can't accept it. I'm like, I got like 150 pounds worth of food here that you won't take. And they're like, well, yeah, no, we won't. I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. How many times have I worked with you guys over the years? Yeah, so we have, not only have I worked with them many times over the years, I've also butted heads with their bullshit that they do in this state because they work within certain lines to not attract too much negative attention. And I can respect that. Um, So, yeah, these days, dude, yeah. Like, it, it just, I can respect it. But on a certain level, you know, I anarchist to anarchist organization. I was like, "Hey, thank you, News World, for host for the host." Yeah, it was it was definitely one of those moments that I was like, "What the fuck is wrong with you people?" Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I just need to make sure they didn't step out of the ordinary again without me noticing. Ah, uh, that's fair. Um. No, it's definitely an apartheid state. I'm um, skeptic. Whole bunch of bullshit. Um, uh, hey, maniac. Um, gotta be within X criteria. It'd be safe. Uh, yeah, it's... Look, Duffy, I adore back of the house people I've been working with. I've been cooking every meal for myself like scratch for almost a decade. I think we're at a decade now. How old am I? We're a decade this year. Um, and so, like, I, I know how to work with food. But I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Um, but if I had to, hey, Satan. Hey, hey Satan Panda. Um, <clears throat> it, no worries. <laughs> the free, free market. Um, I, I just, you know, it was just frustrating as an ant. As an anarchist working within those circles. But no, I've, I've worked with them before. I will work with them again. I have no problem. Um, <laughs> typical elitist, anarcho, whole foodist. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. <sighs> yeah, I, I know, Duffy. Like, it's just, but no, I, I have no, uh, n- no ill feelings, um, and I would, I would, I would happily recommend people work with and volunteer and that sort of stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, 
I don't I don't know about that Viva. Uh, yeah, I don't know anything about that. Can I be an anarcho panda appendiist? Sure. Why not? Uh, but what about the free market? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, another falsehood in line? No, Sue, really? Um, let's see. Uh, it's weird how the African National Congress, same party whose goal was to dismantle the apartheid states. Yeah, dude. Skeptic, the older I get, the more I just sort of... Hypocrisy, hypocrisy still pisses me the fuck off, but at least it doesn't surprise me anymore. Gosh, you're 22. I wish. If I were 22 again, oh my god. Oh, it'd be amazing. Oh, to be 22 again. Youth truly is wasted on the young, isn't it, Sue? Let's see. Oh. 110%. Yeah, these fuckers have no idea the gift that youth is, and we try and tell them, but I mean, it's we all. Hang on a second, I gotta check my volumes. Nice. Um, I'm wasting a pandemic. Um, let's see, what do we got? Uh, where are your thoughts on other kins? Now, I've heard this word before, but why is it not ringing a bell? Hey, here I am. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, I think they're wacky as shit. Okay. Um, oof, what was that? What got them timed out? Oh, um. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna undo that timeout. Uh, Kat, I know what you were, I see what you were doing, and I know I've always regretted it, and I try and make a a policy of not undoing that sort of stuff. But um, News World, don't post that. <laughs> don't encourage that. Let's just put that way. Put it that way. Um, uh, Panda told you that they love you, by the way, Sue. Aww. Hi, Panda. I love you, too. Um, fuck it. I love you, too, Panda. Um, oh, spamming. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, yeah, Hey, L. Uh, youth is wasted due to corona. Fuck this virus. Um, yeah, I'm loved. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, um, news. Uh, just tag me once and I will get to it. Um, don't worry. You don't need to, to repeat post stuff. Like, just tag me and then I'll, I'll get to it eventually. Out of all these 52-year-olds, I'm the youngest, youngest 52-year-old. Um, no, I love you, says Weather. Um, nice, be over. For community purposes, what did he post that we should avoid? Just don't, it was, it was, it was fine. Uh, you know, um, it's just a fucking, uh, it's military and police having a fucking party out. It's the, the military junta partying after they killed a bunch of people. That's, I mean, that's that. Um. Everybody who's not 30, I'm closer to 30 than I've ever been in my whole life. Um, all right, so let's, let me try and find, you know what, let's go. Um, what do we want to do for a music genre in the background? Um, um, don't, don't ask me, guys. Yacht rock. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't believe that's even a category. Um. Is there any like, uh, like reggaeton or you know, uh, something like it could be? Yeah. Uh, well, they do have reggae. Do they have reggae? Yeah. Uh, fuck reggaeton though. By the way, uh, just because of all their homophobic shit, mm. uh, they have a serious issue. Um, let's see. We could do like. Oh, reggae apparently doesn't have anything that's marked like YouTube and Twitch safe. Uh, we could. Ska. Uh, a testament, yeah. The band or the preaching? What is it going to be, Duffy? <laughs> uh, let's see. 
Oh, okay, cat. Um, I see. Yeah, this is what it is. Um, what I'm, uh, what I mean is, I'm the youngest twenty-year-old here in chat. I mean, I will be the last to turn twenty-one. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Too much machismo. Uh, I want to be stereotyped. I want to be classified, says Reed. Um, if you could create a wiki page that doesn't already exist, what would it be? Uh, I mean, there's a wiki page for just about everything. I mean, that's... That's a huge question, a chap. Um, list of people that are dicks. Uh, Duffy, I'm pretty sure there's probably a page for that. I mean, it wouldn't be under just the headline, these people are dicks. Um, but there's definitely, like, lists of dicks. Um, It has to be an obscure. Hey, thank you for the follow. Official people, oh, official people's party USA. Um, that'd be a long list. Uh, the chap. No, no, no. Um, it has to be an obscure porn category. Says cat. Uh, page from my scrotum. Says read. Um, I don't know. I got nothing. <laughs> Infrared's wiki page. Can I be solely in charge of it? Do I get sole editor mode on the page? If so, for real, yeah, I'd do that one. Known, uh, uh, suspected FBI slash CIA honeypot. Um. Chief Red shouted at you the other day. Um. Let's see. Hey, Duffy, gifting another gift sub. Duffy, that makes 26 in this stream alone. Um, thank you again, Duffy. Um, Damn, Duffy, did you get that stimulus check already, bro? Duffy is feeling generous um, in, in while buzzed. Um, we have, yes. Um, so tomorrow morning when they wake up sometime <laughs> during the evening, they're going to be like, what the fuck did I do? Yeah, I, I already warned Duffy, like, hey, you know, like, I hope you don't regret these. Um, but Duffy seems um, okay with it. So we, we, we did our mild intervention. Um, and, you know, uh, Duffy said, Sue, I sent you money too, fucker. Uh, oh, did you? Yeah, apparently so. Um, what? Estrella Infrared shouted at me when he had 15 viewers. I was there before it was cool. Um, oof, Reed, Jesus Christ. Um, <clears throat> I asked him if you uh, are you never going to fucking give up? And he said, never. And his fuck, yeah, come on. The FBI got to step up their work if Infrared is an asset. <laughs> hey, you know, fucking dark days, Wilhelm. Um, got to do what you got to do. Buzz love. Um, oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, concept, says Fertus. An infrared spoof VTuber called uh, Undie Rouge. Her avatar, is, her avatar is panties with a lipstick mark. Meanies go to gulag. Ooh. Um, fair enough, Duffy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Buffy. Duffy. Jesus Christ, bro. Um... Thank you very much. I greatly appreciate that. See? Um, will I uh, join the riots if Chauvin is acquitted? Uh, no, because I'm in no physical condition to be beat down by a cop anymore. Um, News World. Um, oh, and I live in Las Vegas. For those of you that don't know what protesting and rioting in Las Vegas looks like, Come on over. I'll give you an education. Um, the only crew that knows basically what it feels like to protest in Las Vegas is basically indigenous communities. Um, we get the zero to 100 treatment every time. Like every time. 
There is no middle ground. You protest here and like armored cars worth of SWAT is showing up immediately. Like multiple of them. They don't fuck around. You don't fuck with the casinos. Duffy, oh, five more. Thank you. Cracknot got one. Raphael, congratulations. Chaotica, question the quo, and the chap all got them as well. Duffy, thank you very much. And yes, fuck the casinos. Protests are bad for tourism. Yes, you don't fuck around in this town. Uh, Kai, please. We can't make, waste any more money on tier, uh, t uh, any more tax dollars on tear gas. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, the bot doesn't seem to like, I don't know. The bot freaks out when that happens. Um, you can't have the pores. Uh, I have too much now. Maniac, legal theft casinos are. Yes, they are. Um, <laughs> Duffy, can I b bankrupt tear gas? Uh, happy tear gas, uh, tear gas day, motherfucker. Um, Damn. Dude's just getting hit hard. Let's see. The bot is anti-capitalism. Um, what 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 is happening here? Um, News world is just getting hit left, right, and center. Eh, well, whatever. Um, either way, um, no, you don't like protesting in Las Vegas is a different experience entirely. It, it's unless you have protested like a military base or an oil pipeline. Chances are you don't understand what protesting here is like. Oh, logging as well for the Pacific Northwest. Um, if you get in the way of logging conglomerates, um, you also understand. But if you've just been like, oh, you know, not to de denigrate or, you know, speak down to, but if you were just out on like the Women's March or something like that, honestly, you have no clue what it's like. Dude, they don't fuck around. Like, it is zero to 100. They aren't playing. Um... Don't fuck with the casinos. <laughs> they don't play. Um, Vilhelm, free hugs. Uh, can I hug the SWAT? They just need a hug. Uh, I would not attempt to touch them. <laughs> not here, I wouldn't. Um, not unless you're big, like you're oh. a big-ass native guy that can handle that shit easy. Uh, the chap. Um, Lincoln, Lincoln chat. Um, and also, um, we have more of that, um, somebody else reported as well. Um, uh, copy link. Um, here's another one. Um, so here you go. Um, there you go, the chap. Uh, the last one I tagged you on and then the second link I posted, um, um, Oh, is this just the same fucking song over and over again? I think it is. All right, so let's go hype bangers. Sure, let's go with hype bangers. Uh, Las Vegas seems lit, but I'd rather gamble at Tahoe. Um, Tahoe's a much nicer place to be, quite frankly. Um, there's that. Um, what's up with the Nevada Democrats? They all walked out. Um, they walked out with $450,000, mind you. Um... That's, that's straight up what they did. Uh, when a bunch of DSA members won uh, a series of elections, uh, it was basically a clean sweep. The DNC walked out, or the DNC staffers walked out, um, but they had already transferred $450,000 out of the coffers. Perfectly legal, too, by the way. Um, you know, yeah. That's sort of what's happening there. Um severance bullshit um corpo investment um uh, satan panda i'm six four three hundred pounds i can handle a beating for a hug well then uh by all means uh panda i should warn you hey Ammon. Uh, i should warn you uh for many many years las vegas metropolitan police department um had the highest officer involved shooting rate in the country now we've managed to get that under control within the last 15 years or so but for many many years higher than new york higher than los angeles higher than chicago um, higher than, you know, Compton, it doesn't matter. Vegas held the number one slot for a number of years. Um, and nobody even talked about it because we have better PR here. Um, and so just, just a heads up. 
Like, there's an entire de- uh, a department at Metro dedicated to dragging uh, shooting victims' names through the mud. Um, that literally, we discovered this, I don't know, maybe seven, ten years ago now, that they have a department dedicated to this. Um, that when they shoot some innocent person, they've got a whole team of people uh, that just for that purpose. So just 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 a heads up. Yeah, we this Vegas operates in a di- in a different world. This is why, like, I mean, I I organized for Occupy here, um, and so I mean, it's not like I'm just coming out of nowhere and saying like, hey, you know, this is this, you know, I've no, I've seen this, like I I know, I know this town. I've been here since I was 21. Um, since I was 20, actually. Uh, what happens? In, uh, is there some serious racketeering there? Um, not so much anymore, Reed. I, I mean, sure, yes, but not like the old days. Not by a long shot. Um, uh, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Actually, the slogan now is what, uh, what happens in Vegas can only happen in Vegas. Yeah, they changed it. The Tourism Bureau changed it, I don't know, a couple of years ago now, maybe? Good night, uh, good night, Duffy. Um, thank you very much. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no, say, say your piece. I was just going to ask, so with this new thing, does that mean, oh, by the way, good night, Duffy. Yes, thank, thank you kindly, Duffy. Um, thank you so much for the, the contribution to the channel. It will, you know, I mean, you guys know it. It'll either go to feed my book habit, or it will end up in a college fund of some sort. Um, so, um, which love, Duffy, thank you for for the gift itself, bro. Um, the only hope for Vegas at this point is some sort of post-apocalypse Roman warper washing through with this gang. Um, uh, fucking new Vegas gang, rise up. Anyway, what were you saying, Sue? I was just gonna ask, like, does that mean then that? They can use that to like demonetize us as well. Um, I th- like, all of us can remove our affiliates or whatever. Hey, Newsy Twelve, thank you for the host. <coughs> I don't know. I think it's mostly. Um, thank you, Duffy. I shall try. Um, I, I will do. That. I think it's mostly to like. Uh, Viva, you want to go to college? I want, I want to, I want a poli sci degree. But given my physical disability, given the fact that I'm in pain all the time, and given the, my conflicting uh, or my conflicted relationship with food and how my body learns proteins and causes my neuropathy to worsen and all of these sorts of things, I'm not 100 percent certain I'll be able to accomplish it. Um, but I would very much like to go back to school, just community college, nothing major. Um, and get a degree in political science. One, because I'm good at it. Two, because I think it would be eminently amusing to send my anarchist ass back to, you know, what's guaranteed to be some neo-lib capitalist fucking run-of-the-mill political science degree shit. Like, I think it'd be, a, I think it'd be funny as fuck. I'm not, I'm not an impressionable 18-year-old, right? Like, I got, I got shit in my head. Like, I got experiences under my belt. I got people I know. I've got firsthand knowledge. I've got theory. I've got, you know, I've, I've got stuff. And so you, I think it'd be hilarious to sit in a poli-sci class with some douchebag espousing the, the status quo and just have some fun with it. Like, that's bullshit. You know that, right? W- what? Well, I mean, clearly X, Y, and Z, foundational principles wrong, historical principles wrong, theory disagrees, multiple people, you know, that sort of stuff. Like, just, it would be, it would be fun just to fuck with those people. (laughs) Until your professor sits back and kicks you out of the course because... (laughs) Eh, you know, I mean, cut your losses, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not some impressionable, uh, like, I'm not some frightened 18-year-old who's going to be like, oh, my God, the rest of my life is ruined. So what? Kick me out of your class. Fuck you. It'll make, it'll make for good content. <laughs> uh, so what do you think? you think they're going to turn around and start cutting people off on, on mm, make us defund? De- I don't know how they're going to. It, it, it's, I, I think what they're going to do is implement a tiering system. 
And so like you, okay. So if your brand, if your brand score is like tier four, you get nothing. If you get a tier three, like if, if you have a tier score, if, if your brand score is tier four, no advertisers are willing to work with you. If you have a three adult only advertisers are willing to work with you and you get a minimum amount tier two. Okay, so it's like an 18 plus crowd, but nothing too bad. And you know, we've got advertisers that'll work with you. And then tier one, family, family friendly, you've never said anything offensive, and all of your content is just perfectly clean. It's fucking Disney up in this bitch. Then you get 100% of the advertisers available, and so you get a that share of revenue. If I had to guess. Uh, well, I don't really like ads to begin with, so. That'd be hilarious if you fucking nobody wanted, like, if you could build a channel rep, like a score that no advertisers would watch. You just. I know, right? I figured out a way to beat the system. <laughs> yeah. Hey, guess what, guys? Everybody come over here because there's no fucking ads being played because none of them motherfuckers want to fucking work with me. <laughs> it would be amazing. <laughs> I know, right? I would be like, yo. <laughs> you know what would be hilarious? Is if that same Twitch stream turned around and got more numbers than like Hassan and all of them. Because yeah, nobody wants to put up with the ads. <laughs> they're exactly. All, they're right? all just showing up on principle alone at that point. Um, be over no I, I I feel you be over on that one fucking not to be a creeper but I'd love to watch and listen oh I know I know stream the poli side class destroy the rhetoric um yeah you get less money for ads uh well, if no advertiser want to work you they kick you off the platform probably probably um yeah cat me not an affiliate sighing in relief um fuck the popo I like them apples uh <laughs> it's twitch score um let's see where's my um um yeah no i mean i don't know for me, i i don't think that they would literally click you off kick you off the platform because they can still make some money on it you you are right subs still could constitute you will have to see we'll have to see what the the final devolution uh of the twitch fucking social credit score turns out to be mm -hmm. brand risk score oh for fuck's sake Tier below the adult ads, my pillow ads. Um, yeah, I, I um, you know, yeah. I, Twitch only has like three or four ads that I'm tired of seeing. Uh, devolution. Um, I think it would be. I think I. I hate to try and seem hopeful. But just something just eating away at me says that, you know, this is just going to be another shit fuckery. Oh, of course it is. Of course it is. Twitch is, I mean, this is the thing. Um, as far as streamers are concerned, Twitch is a terrible platform. I've, you know, I, I watch game streamers who, look, I, I'm in a small time political realm sort of thing. Um, like, I'm nobody, but I, I listen to people who, you know, I watch people who are, make their living doing this um and they absolutely despise interacting with twitch and so i mean this is this is this is the coke and pepsi thing right can we get something that isn't you know coke or pepsi youtube or twitch yeah it's i mean it is what it is um, I just realized stream decks are just the soundboards of the old radio jocks with their sound bites. Which also remind me of these keyboards is cool. You may, oh yeah, it feels good. Um, Emin, they are, um, one, I mean, yes, I, I have one, um, do it on stream. Um, but the, the benefits are stuff like this, where you have folders and multi commands, um, due to the software connection. Like, I, I press one button and shit just launches all of it in the order I need it to launch. Hey, um, what so. happened to the... Sorry. No, go ahead. What happened to the tanky uh, thing that slid into this Oh, uh, that's a tanky alert, not the tanky definition. Mm. 
Hmm. Looks like you got a playbook there. Um, wait, what? What? What are we looking at uh, when we do that? Oh, there it is. Um. There they are. Yay! Skeptic. Sure. Yeah. Which Which one were you saying? Uh, so if they make a living and Twitch gets 50% of all those streamer sub bits, et cetera. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, uh, the device. Oh, um, that's a, that's a stream deck. That's what, when you hear streamers talk about stream decks, that's, that's the stream deck XL. Like that's what that is. And so they're programmable buttons. Um, all of the images and stuff, uh, here with me, um, like there's Cappy, right? Um, here's my lighting system which I can control brightness, like lumens and uh, color off of that sort of thing. Um, you know, here's uh, here's a soundboard. Um, here's here's the, the multi-command. If I press this, all of the software that I need to run the stream launches automatically, stuff like that. And then I, you know, I have one. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I don't know why oh, that did. Yeah, I don't know why that did that. Um, oh, I kind of do actually. Um, and then I have one for gaming. Uh, I have one for 3D printing. Um, so, you know, yeah. I have one, disappears. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure, hang on, did I double press that? I did, which explains why that happened. Cool, cool, accidental double tap. Chat went poof, chat did go poof. Um, basically it issued a command to OBS that can't be done in the state that it is. So it sort of nah, had a little spaz. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it is like a soundboard of old. Uh, can you fly a Boeing with this? Um, I mean, you know, it can, it can be programmed. Um, and there are things like, um, I can backend that. I can add web hooks and call commands to scripts and various things. So I can make it do, I can, it's extensible. Um, so I can script it out even further. Um, like my Discord and my Twitter notification is an example of that. That I have a single button that uses the Twitter API <clears throat> and posts a tweet out to the Kai's Things account. Um, and I think the Proudly Radical account. And then puts a message in the comments using a webhook for Discord. Um, so yeah, you can... You can do a lot with them. Um, you combine that with like Lioran, a Lioran board and then, you know, a chat bot of your choosing um, and you've got what a lot of those big time streamers do um, that you see. You're like, how the fuck do they do that stuff? This, that's how they do it. Um, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, get it, get it, let's see. Okay, so I have the log, I can scroll back. Um, that's the future I was so excited for, but my shithead brain let me down the path of never putting in time to learn it. Super cool to see how you could program it, though. Thanks for your explanation. No worries, Emin. Um, does a tanky just mean that they want everyone to have a tank, or am I misunderstanding? Uh, the chap, yeah, the definition was in chat for you. Uh, hope you got it. Um... I just started getting to the Lauren board. Uh, uh, gonna get, uh, get and play with it uh, this uh, weekend. I'll rock on. Hey, Eyeball, thank you for the Prime sub. Thank you so much. Um, Maniac, oh, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask me. Um, I'm n by no means an expert, but I have u I've been using it for a couple few weeks. Um, to s at least a couple few weeks. Um, and, you know, we've seen, you know, you've seen the, the camera change and you've seen like Cappy can be queued up from channel points and stuff like that. Um, you know, I've got a lot of that stuff pretty much down pat. So if you need any pointers or, you know, figuring stuff out, by all means, um, ask away. Um, and if you want any chatbot help, um, dude, best thing, I, I so happy getting rid of Moobot and stream elements and all of that shit. And having a, a you know a, a dedicated channel bot that I can run from my computer sort of situation. So maniac, if you want any recommendations or help in that area as well, feel free to let me know. Um, 
And that goes for anybody else who streams, by the way. I'm not just offering that for Maniac. If you if you want to know how to, you know, do some of this stuff. I just don't like the the swirlies and the swishies and a lot of the fancy graphics. But as you've seen by my intro, I can do them. Um, you know, it's just a matter of, I don't, why would I have that? Like, that's the sort of shit gamer channels want and that sort of thing. Like, the you know, very much the aesthetics. But if I, you know, we have something fun, like running over a bunch of protesters with a tank to fuck with tankies, by all means, <laughs> you know, let's do that. Uh, actually, I think I do, Estrella. Hang on. Um, I could have sworn... I know this. Like, I, I've seen this. I've read this. Um, yes. The original use of the word tanky comes from a split in the Br a Communist Party of Great Britain. Um, basically, one... Uh, ant uh, the So, one group aligned against the USA and had support for USSR and Trotskyist groups. So that Trotskyist Water. Workers Revolutionary Party um, was receiving funding from Libyan intelligence services, and then you had the other group. And so born out of this was a, pejor a pejorative that was utilized um, and referencing the Russian T-54 tanks that rolled into Budapest to suppress an uprising in 1956. So this is where it's born. All right. So, yeah, it, the, the term tanky has been around for a while. It's not just like some internet meme, um, but it is uh, native to Britain. So we're not that familiar with it. Good night, RV. I hope you feel better. Uh, Vivo, I'm curious what you use your 3D printer for. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, um, it's difficult to get you an angle on that. Um, but, I mean, I've done lighting projects. I've done everyday stuff. I've done, like, you know those um, nano leaf lights? Um, I've done custom versions of those using Arduinos and, you know, uh, hex, uh, hexagonal versions as well. Um, you know, uh, fucking pen holders, art projects, um, you know, functional, non-functional, I've, anything. Um, yeah. Oh, and I built the 3D printer. Um, because, of course I did. <laughs> um, on the subject of chatbots, we still on that fuck Posadabot energy? All my homies hate Posadabot. Emin, not a fan, not a fan. Um... You, it's a chap. You can control smart plugs with them. You can basically do anything with them. Yes. Um, Soviet Union. Blah. Um, let's see. You can even call a tank. Uh, I fucking knew it sounded like my language. Brit bongers rise up. Uh, does Nevada have any examples of... Oh, and by the way, it, just, just as an aside, do not say Nevada. <laughs> Holy shit, does that piss off Nevadans. Um... It's Nevada, not Nevada. It's a point of but, contention in this state. Just trust me. Um, my free peach. Yeah, exactly. My free peach. Dude, they're very uppity about it here. Um, does Nevada have any examples of successful protests and riots? Not recently. I mean, no. I mean, back in the mining days, yes. But not recently. Like, we're talking Civil War mining era forward. Maybe last one you could see is like 1910, 1912, something like that. Yeah, nothing recently. Um, Maniac, I've got Nightbot and Stream Elements bought still, but pretty much use them as a gag to have them pop up and claim to be seizing the means of my stream. I got Deep Bot, which is on my PC. I have to finish configuring and do everything they were doing. Um, tankies were funded by Libsyn. Uh, let's see. Guess it's not the same thing as Nick Tank Girl. No, it is not. Um, there was a person here last week whose name was Tanky something. This whole time I thought they were talking about them. They were. Be over. Um, I've, tankies must be stopped is the person's username. 
Um, oh, I did the lights too, but I'm bad at programming this Viva. Um, let's see. Back. Finally got some food. Welcome back, Alo. Um, Tank Girl is dope. Um, so you're doing art? Sounds like crime to me. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I follow a paleontologist that 3D prints dinosaur bone models and puts them together on stream and talks about it all. Very fun. Rock on. Yeah, perfect perfect example of a use for it. Um, yeah, exactly. M M M M M M M uh, me, me pronounce Nevada. <laughs> Nevada. Um, yeah, that's, I mean, from being from New England originally, um, Vermonter, um, I tend to go for those long A's, like Nevada. Like, that's my default pronunciation, but trust me, I got yelled at enough that I'm just like, you know, okay, it's Nevada, I get it, Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, that's how you know someone's actually from Nevada. Um, Nevada. Um, Mr. Sir, uh, Nevada. Yeah. Um, so I'm lost in here, just learning. Had no idea what to expect when I got here, uh, but I like Kai's brains looking at his face and listening to him talk. Well, thank you, be over. Uh, thank you, and welcome. Uh, do you have Albanians as bouncers in casinos? No, we do not. Um, security staff in the casinos, um, I'd say it's fairly, actually, like, the casinos are fairly uh, demographically equitable. I, I've never noticed anything, you know, like, they're all just jackbooted thugs. Um, the casinos, by the way, here um, have 100%, uh, they are 100% within their rights to throw you in casino jail. Yes, the casinos in Las Vegas have jails of their own, and they are perfectly within their uh, uh, the le uh, legal structure of the state to throw you in their private prison until Metro comes to collect you. When will Metro be coming to collect you? Well, hopefully they'll get you later tonight, if you're lucky. Yeah, right. yeah. that's... Casinos have jails. Welcome to uh, welcome Which, to Las Vegas. Well, you know, I find it kind of hilarious though, because a lot of casinos have very deep pockets in organized crime. Like, oh yeah, not so much anymore. Like I mean, that it, traditionally very much so. Um, now, like now, they're the big boys of organized crime, right? Multinational corporations. Yeah. It makes the old days of the mob look quaint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now it's the for real big boys. <laughs> um a private casino prisons sounds like uh sounds gay I'm in, like an ANCAP's wet dream. Um yeah, no, it's a thing. They have holding facilities in the casinos. Um Yeah, Nevada's home of the ANCAP paradise. It is. Uh, skeptic, I get blocked by tankies on Twitter when I say CIA-funded tanky organizations. They get so mad. <gasps> skeptic, do I have a fucking book for you to read? Okay, so Kat and I went through this book over the weekend. And so this woman makes the claim that anarchists, socialists, and communists are all Illuminati-backed. This is deep conspiracy theory shit. Like Freemason Illuminati con uh, constructions. So if you're a communist or an anarchist or a socialist, uh, you are a tool of the Illuminati. Not kidding. I'm not like adding words here. She literally talks about the Illuminati. She literally talks about the Freemasons and how, you know, it is, it is the wackiest fucking read. But I started, we were laughing our asses off at this shit because the truth of the matter is, is imagine hitting the fucking tankies with this shit. You, you fucking anarchists are CIA, uh, are CIA puppets. Yeah, well, you're an Illuminati puppet, bitch. <laughs> it's so stupid. But I have a copy of the PDF if you want it. Oh, it's so fucking stupid. Oh, oh let me... Uh... The title was Occult Features of Anarchism with Attention to the Conspiracy of Kings and the Conspiracy of the Peoples. Because that's a fucking title. Uh, mm -hmm. 
Astrea. Where are you? You're recent. There you go. Dropped in your... Huh. Um, it should be fair the right... Oh, wait. I, he's skeptic. Oh, wait. I think I have that. Um, yeah, cult, yeah I, told, I told you to... Uh, skeptic. Uh, there you are. Oh, fuck. Minimized the wrong window. Um, well, you definitely have it now, skeptic. So have a good have a good laugh, um, California. Um, Jesus Christ, I just say California. Um, let's see. I have a friend who's a casino dealer in Washington State. Oof, yeah. Uh, some of the stories I've heard from dealers over the years in Las Vegas are brutal. Um, I know this. I knew this one woman um, for a time. Um, she had tight braids, and Yes, she was a black woman, so this may play into why this gentleman felt he could cross those lines. Don't know. Um, I can't speak to that. He didn't say anything racist, but um, this dude got drunk. He lost a bunch of hands. He stood up, reached across the uh, the table, grabbed her by the side of her hair, and uh, just slammed her face right into the table. Ouch. Yeah. Sore loser. Don't bet if you ain't willing to lose. It takes seconds for casino security to be on you. And I, I, where you, you're like thinking like, you know, 17 seconds, 23 seconds. No, I'm talking like two because when you're in the pit like that, there's security all around. It takes like two seconds and you're on the fucking ground. That dude fucking face planted her. And the next thing he knew was he was being tackled by multiple people. Like, fuck around and find out. Yeah. Yes, they will rough your ass up too. They 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 have a little less compunction about it. It's not the old days. They're not going to break your fucking fingers. They're not going to break your kneecaps. But let's just say, you know, your arm's probably going to get a little twisted up when they move you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just a little. It is. Oh. Holy shit. Skeptic actually has that book. Okay, so Skeptic, that book is garbage. It is hilarious, but it is garbage. Holy fuck was that. It's just a travesty of a read. Um, but that is amazing that you have that book, Skeptic. That's amazing. Um, yeah, it's hilarious. People talking about Vegas and the law. Vegas having law is a good one. Um, we do. They're just run by corporations. Um, Jack put it thugs. <laughs> Hey, goofy for Jesus. Um, two people start the first name. It's just as you call. I think, I, I think in all fairness, I think the only time that there may be some caution in how security at a casino works towards something would be like if you're a known motorcycle club or something like that, that they know will find you and fuck you up. <laughs> they they may handle you a little bit more easier, not roughly. Just say. Uh, yeah, uh, Solorial, Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ, I have familial experience with this. Yeah, thirty third is as high as they go. Um, <clears throat> yes, there's too many mergers. First Soros and CIA. Now we got to fit the Illuminati into. Well, the Illuminati runs all that shit or Strayer, so don't worry about it. Um, let's see, um, doo -doo. oh yeah, 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 skeptic, 100%, that was correct, um, yeah, do all of, yeah, of all the places to act like a dipshit, you'd have to be a dumbass to try and pull shit in a casino, oh, it's, it, it's, it's a thing, um, that's fine, there are people that, there are people that do it, though. oh, 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 yes, by the way, okay, for everybody who has asked me or has like, you know, what about David Graeber? Because this name, he's like, he's an anarchist. He's written a bunch of stuff. All right. David Graeber comes up from time to time. Now, I don't, I've never read anything of David Graeber's. I, I don't know anything of David Graeber other than he's a professor of anthropology. Um, but what I can tell you on the book that makes claims that all anarchists, socialists, and communists are actually puppets of the Illuminati global conspiracy. By the way, the Jews get mentioned in it. 
because of course they do. <laughs> there is a quote by David Graeber on the second page saying this is surely the most creative and exciting and possibly the most important work to come out on either anarchism or occultism in many a year. It should give rise to a whole new field of intellectual study. Look, I don't know shit about David Graeber, but I have read that. I've read half of that book <laughs> at this point. And the fact that he thought that book was worth even the paper and ink that it went to printing it makes calls into question everything that man has ever said even if he's right in what he has said i'm gonna have to question what he said because that book is batshit insane um yes exactly squid um uh wither probably the company is trying to trying to buy nevada if i had to um Solarial, it, it is a thing. Uh, both my grandfather and father were Masons. I'm pretty open about that. That's that's a thing. It's just part of my familial history. Weird as fuck, but true. Uh, Tinfoiler, surprise Pikachu face. Uh, yes, Squid. Yeah. Well, I, 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 well, Squid. As I put it earlier, I, I, you know, Harry and Megan's heartfelt, the the heartfelt appeals of a couple of million multi millionaires to a billionaire celebrity on a multi million dollar estate really touched me and made me consider that maybe my entire life, all of my deeply held beliefs, all of the philosophies. And that I've studied were just incorrect. And maybe what I should be doing is looking deeply within somebody else for the answer. Swear to God, fuck it, 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 Um. Yes, very heartwarming. Yes, it's just, just, just so heartwarming. Nothing like seeing the definition of privilege and excess. Talk about how they're oppressed and held down and being mistreated, even though everybody says they mistreat everybody around them. Hey, whatever. Cool, cool, cool. You know, you do you, boo. Uh, you don't understand how hard the queen has it. Exactly. Exactly. It's just, you know. Um, <laughs> honestly, I've seen so much shit these days that if I met an actual live lizard person, I'd just be like, so, like, bro, you want to get some human soda? Or what? <laughs> um, let's see. Is the mayor of Las Vegas still the cuckoo? Yes, yes, still the cuckoo. Um, who said people, uh, people who would be willing, uh, people would be willing to be the testing ground of no, uh, mitigations during the arrival of COVID. Yes. That would be, um, Catherine Goodman. Um, she is the wife of Oscar Goodman, the previous mayor. Oscar Goodman was a mob attorney and a spokesman for gin and vodka. Not kidding. Um, but confirmed like some of the biggest names in the mob era of Las Vegas used Oscar as their defense attorney. He was a criminal defense attorney for the mob in Las Vegas. And he later came, became arguably Las Vegas's favorite mayor of all time. He is adored here. Corrupt as fuck um, and absolutely loved. Um, so when he was he had to step down due to term limits, his wife became the mayor. As you do. And it is, it is speculated that when her term limit is up, their son, who's at present a judge here in town, catch that for irony, is going to be the next mayor. Lovely. Yes. Sounds like nepotism. I network. No. In Las Vegas? Surely not. This place is, like I try and tell people, like I live in a different reality. You can't possibly understand this place unless you live in it for a number of years. And then you start to grasp it. You're like, oh shit, this place is fucking weird. Yeah, it is. I'll put it up against any of your big cities. It doesn't matter. 
London, New York, Chicago, Los Angeles. It's like, well, you know, we're big cities. Yeah, Vegas isn't a big city. It's an entirely other dimension of reality. It's fucking wacky as shit here. Um, imagine being a billionaire and not having a crown. <laughs> Uh, bro, how does one become a Freemason? Um, okay, so mister, generally speaking, it's a paternalistic organization. Easiest way in is to have a, a per, uh, have a parent, a father, or a grandfather who was a Mason. Second to that, you go down and apply. Um, you can go down to the Masonic Lodge and apply. Um, there's things you're, it's a fraternal organization. It's a fraternity. Um, so you're going to have to learn a bunch of weird shit. You're going to have to go through initiation rituals. Um, and then you're, you know, you have the potential to be a first degree Mason. Um, and then you have to learn some more shit. You have to do some other shit and then you can rise up through the ranks. It's all a fucking thing, but it is a fraternity. It's for a fraternity. It's a fraternity for non college age frat boys. That's the purpose it serves. It's, it's networking. Um, the bank manager, probably a Mason, right? Like that's, it's that sort of shit. Like you move to a new town Somebody on city council, probably a Mason. Somebody working at the bank, probably a Mason. You just walk into your local lodge and be like, hey, you know, you do the handshake, you show the ring, and you're off to the races. It's it's just a social network. Um, Send me the ring, Kai. Send me the ring. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you have to know the the confirmatory stuff. Like, there's a call. There's several calls and responses, and there's like handshakes. Um, just having the ring or the pen, the lapel pendant, aren't enough usually. <clears throat> well, aren't enough. Plain and simple. You have to be able to pass a few checks. But yeah, yeah. It's just a. It's just a fucking fraternity. That's. There's no. You know, fucking, oh, spooky. No, it's just a fraternal organization. It's like the fucking Elks Lodge. It's just they happen to have more successful people, usually. Um, <laughs> they called me a glowy in my favorite right-wing stream, and I was I was trying to infiltrate, but I'm just autistic. It used to be one of them. Kodo, I'm sorry they called you a glowy. Sorry they called you out, Kodo. That's, that's a shame. Uh... Yeah, in Las Vegas? Surely not. He says Vegas. Yeah, it's Kingdom of Vegas, 100%. Is there any squatting? Hey, Funner. Is there any squatting in Las in Vegas happening? Yes, but not on any significant scale. Um, there's not really any, like, anarchist um, squats that have been set up here with any level of semi-permanence, because I know squats don't get permanence. Um, but fundamentally what ha what you have is mostly just houseless people who break in and squat at locations no like uk anarchists like anal if you hap um if you happen to know who anal is in the uk um then um nothing nothing like that operating um here um so yes but no no it's all it's all an individual. Are squats effective practice? Yes. They are. Um, they're highly effective. Hey, hey, non-binary. They got rid of squatters' rights in 2011. Of course they did. Um, it's a capitalist hellhole. It is. Um... I'd say the only time that squatting wasn't praxis is if you were doing it on a reservation. I'd say, you know, it just depends. Like if, if I moved away from a house, like let's say I, I owned a property and like I'm trying to sell it and I just moved to another town to say, like, let's set up the worst case scenario. I moved to another town to be with my kids and, you know, I'm trying to sell this fucking property and then you move in and trash the shit out of it uh, during squatting. That's not good practice. That's that's terrible. Like, right? That's that's bad. Um, but commercial f centers, disused malls, multi-million dollar McMansions. Fair game. Oh, yeah. Fair game. Fair. Um, and it's amazing how many empty mansions there are in the United States alone. 
It's just hilarious. Hey, uh, superpower. Let's see. But the tiles, Kai. Oh, yes, I know. The black and white tiles. Did you hear about the recent twit? Longer. Uh, oh, hey, Momo and Momo's uh, people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're just talking uh, squatting as a form of practice. Um, and I'm just trying to catch up on chat. Uh, for those of you that don't know Momo, uh, Momo is leftist Twitch's uh, like resident mother, um, whom I mother. By the way, Momo, have you been sleeping properly? Um, but uh, for the Raiders, um, press the logo or the link or whatever the hell I'm supposed to tell you to do to shed the referral tag. Uh, please and thank you. Um, and if you aren't following Momo, the link went into chat automatically when Momo raided. Uh, go show Momo some love. Um, thank you for the follow, Zombie Doll. Thank you for the follow, X Clover X. And thank you for the follow, Della Dragon S. Um, Della! Let's see. Can, is Della no longer banned? Uh, Della was never banned. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay. I'm like, not my channel, right? Some other thing? No. Oh, it. Hey, it is, yay! Della is free. Twitch, uh, Twitch. Jail. Della had, yeah, Twitch jail. She got Twitch jail because some uh, uh, squids decided to pop over from a different channel when she was modding in somebody's channel and she was trying to deal with it all. And there were some issues and they decided to basically do a whole bunch of different bullshit um, to Della, and Della ended up getting put into Twitch jail. Oh, sorry to hear that. Kodo, uh, gifting a sub to Della. Congratulations, Della. Whether you wanted to be or not, you are now an anarchist because you have the anarchy A next to your name, and that's completely how it works, according to multiple people, both on the left and the right. So, congratulations, you're one of us now, whether you wanted to be one or not. One of us. One of us. One uh, of us. Uh, you did sleep today. Good, Momo. Hey, radical. Um, <laughs> um, J. Miles. Hey, uh, uh, STRDST. Um, thank you for the follow. Uh, J. Miles, I did not hear about any of that. Um, I just got to it. Uh, I just got called. I got called out as a trot on. Oh, oh fucking. Are you on the square? Google eyes are nice reference. Um, Let's see, let's see, do, 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 do. All right, seems like people, may... yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I, I used to do a lot of squatting, then I injured my lower back. Um, but um, bunch. Uh, I went to a squat in NYC in the 90s. It was impressive. Be over, they are. Um, old malls, yeah, funner. Old malls are super, super high level praxis. Um, you can't just steal someone else's property, bootlicker. <laughs> uh, kind of, let's see. Do, 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 do. All right, so there's the gift sub. Um, yeah, funner. It sort of just depends on what area of the world you are in. There's still, um, like I said, in the UK, there's a group called Anal, which are anarchist activists who, li shall we say, liberate high-priced, uh, high-value properties. Um and convert them into 50 person squats. Um, and so, you know, it just sort of depends where you are. Um, I've heard of that and them. Rock on, Jay. Yeah, they're they're fairly well known and they're still operating. So <laughs> really, there's a group called Anal. Hmm? Um, hey, thank you for follow. Hey, Kodo, uh, thank you for the sub. Um, Thank you for the, the sub. Um, I think there's... um. Yeah, there's... I, I think Vice even did a video on them. Um, but they have... Um, yeah, here is here is their, uh, their... Well, a URL that's dedicated to keeping track of what they're doing. Um, but yeah, it's the uh, Autonomous Nation of Anarchist uh, Libertarians. Um, and they, they just take over mansions. 
and commercial facilities that are in that are in disuse or just sitting there and they create shelters for houseless people and addicts and marginalized member uh, communities that are marginalized yeah also um just as a side note if you look up on youtube for like uh, abandoned places and stuff like that there's different youtube channels that actually show you abandoned mansions around different areas in the United States. So we would never encourage to uh, we would never encourage you to violate the lo um, uh, laws of your local municipality or of your locality. Um, consult an attorney if necessary. There, <laughs> ass is covered. Um, <laughs> Turtle Cole. Thank you. Um, Turtle said, hey, just on the stream for the first time. This is unrelated to the stream, but you have a great smile, my dude. Hope everything's groovy. Everything is not usually groovy. I live my life in a constant state of pain, but that is neither here nor there. That will not stop me. Um, so thank you. Welcome. And if you have any questions, if you have any sort of stuff that you, you want to bring to the forefront or you want to ask me or chat anything, by all means, or Sue, of course. Oh, wait, left hand. One of these days I'll get the mirrored shit. Like I will get my stage craft back and uh, understand that, you know, right on my screen is actually left uh, in reality. Um, so what I pointed to your name. Or uh, Sue, who is uh, an indigenous uh, uh, community member of leftist Twitch who resides at present in Canada. Or Kanukia, as I prefer to call them. Uh, uh, let's see. One could consider the Red House a squat. You could. Um, Non-binary. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I squat all the time as a vagina owner. It's not really something I have a say in. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. There's that. There's that. <laughs> Be careful, Google. If you want, uh, you would Google uh, UK squatters anal. That would that would get it for you. Um, but again, I put the link in chat. Um, remember when Vice was good at journalism? Eh, that was like a minute. Um, I have an anarchy and a crown. I have a lot to learn. I didn't know I'm a. Uh, I didn't know I'm a mod. Uh, be over. Uh, there's Christianstown in Copenhagen that's been going for decades. Christianstown is. I do I have a Christianstown on my uh, cheat sheet for those of you that don't know. Uh, cs.kaisthings.com cs.kaisthings.com I have a cheat sheet it is still in alpha um, yep Freetown Christiana uh, uh, created in 1971 um, it is on the cheat sheet um, oh it did Che just fucking said 1971 I just caught up to it in chat there um, uh, yes consult an attorney if necessary Kaiser responsible anarchist um, let's see. If after the revolution, I didn't want to ha have a talk with all the anarchists, am I not left calm? Says Koda. Um, you have a federal defender for free, <laughs> Kaiser. Uh, stage right. Exactly, maniac. Um, I, I did, for those of you that don't know, I did two classes of drama a day for four years, plus a touring repertory company. Um, so yeah, stage right, stage left, audience left, audience right. Like it's, I'm just 20 years out of practice. That's all. Uh, Canada Stan, uh, not groovy, but amazingly, it maintains a fantastic smile. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Goofy for Jesus. Um, let's see. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Um, that's, you know, I live downtown where I live in the city I live in, so... That was just them coming for him. Yeah. Uh, uh, Yo, Reed and Slyria, um, I used to live in, well, what used to be called East End, now is called East Van. Uh, Jay Miles, I have no idea because I don't know what Ben Shapiro, uh, how Ben Shapiro responded to Meghan Markle. Um, there's not enough time in my day to look up that information on my own. Feel free to post it in chat if you want. 
um, and then I will be informed. But the fact of the matter is, is if I saw <clears throat> if I saw Ben Shapiro's response to Meghan Markle, I that link is staying unclicked. Like I'm just not clicking that link. Um, yeah, East End in Greater Vancouver. Yes, East Hastings drug moments. Let's go. Exactly right. Um, yeah, I used to live down by commercial and Hastings, so, uh, but yeah. Funner. Not so much a squat, but if you want to look into something like I, the first thing that came to mind, um, you wonder if there's something as like an online squat would be I2P, um, which is an anonymization, but it's a, a layered network on top of the internet that is an anonymized encrypted su uh, subset and um, is internalized. And so there's this sort of haven that exists in the internet. Um, so I2P. Good night, Sister Della. Sleep well and I don't. now that you're back full, full, full swing, um, I will be trying my best to restart my normal daily streams. <laughs> um, <laughs> Turtle, not very familiar with Vice, so honest question, what's the problem with them? Neoliberal capitalists. That's, I mean, that's the beginning, middle, and end. Neoliberal capitalists. Um. <laughs> no evidence is not literally, well, it's cheapest in the sense that it's cheap in the way in which it deals with people. Uh, but it is extremely expensive alongside with Calgary as well. So. Um, che, UK News Today is talking about the crisis of the monarchy and whether it will survive. UK News threatening him with a good time. I know, right? Fuck monarchies. Jesus Christ, people. Grow the fuck up. Um, <laughs> yes, be over. Yes, be over. Fuck it. I do remember that. Um, be over's origin story. Um, let's see. Um, my oldest online friend um, is from Edmonton. Just FYI, apropos. Um, Are you sure it's not ICQ? Uh-oh. Fucking, I miss ICQ. Um, do I know the Ben Shapiro debates send Bahiro um, video? No, I do not. Um, I'm looking now, though. What happened with Edmonton and Calgary? It's very simple. They got a premier called Jason Kenney, who was only for the rich and big corporations. So that's what happened. <laughs> okay. Um, when Vice was just a magazine, it was all right. Uh, cheap in the sense of no economic outlook. Um, <clears throat> Wait, did they get Dauntless. Yeah, oh yeah. ICQ still runs, by the way. Uh, ICQ is still live. And you can still log in with your original ID number, if you uh, your UIN. If you happen to know it, then you can um, you can still log into your old account. If you, the ICQ network is still like they never purged users, it's still going. It's owned by like some Russians or something now, though. Um, but yeah, I still, I checked. Uh, it's still in here. I checked it a couple of, like maybe two years ago when somebody brought it to my attention that the network was still live and that they hadn't done a purge. Um, I fucking, I, I went, I still know my UIN number. I still, I remembered, uh, you know, what password. Yeah, I got in. I was like, holy shit, this network's still going. It's a beautiful moment. Um, yeah, yeah, it was a Russian thing. Um, 
Viva Mine still runs. Nice. Uh, Silurial? Um, you're too young to know what ICQ is. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Um, uh, not f it, it isn't. It isn't photographic. Um, it is. It isn't an eidetic memory, but it's a halfway decent one. Sidewalk. Um, it's in that uncomfortable area, which I wish I had. Where I wish I had an eidetic memory, um, or a worse memory. Um. <laughs> oh no be over none of those none of them i had i had a regional email provided by um by one of the arizona um isps that got purchased by somebody and they got punch purchased by frontier net and then frontier net got purchased by somebody else and then they got purchased by somebody else um and so it's the email address still live as well. I have no idea how somebody just consolidated databases or something. They're just like, just copy it over, copy it over. And so the email address is still active to this day. It's been 24 years and it's still going. I mean, the same for your ICQ UIN number or UIN. It's redundant. Shit's still going. <laughs> rushes the pastures we send old websites to um a memory that could be exchanged out like hard drives oh my god that'd be amazing um uh, i just want to forget all the gory pictures in my mind nah wilhelm those gotta stay um just a real bite me kai um, ICQ was MSN Messenger before MSN Messenger was a thing, right? Like, ICQ was the forerunner, um, so real, to most of these messaging systems. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. And prior to that, what was it, the little fucking box window? Well, I mean, prior to ICQ, which was instant messaging, you had stuff oh. like, um, IRC, and then prior to that, you has Usenet, and prior to that, you have dial-up BBSs. Mm -hmm. um, our grandkids gonna find our unlike logins, and shit's gonna get weird. Um, um kudo. Oh, our our old logins, shit's gonna get weird. Yeah. Um, uh, all right, so let's let's watch because apparently Ben Shapiro meets. Shen Bapiro is an actual video. It's like a real thing. Uh, no, I don't want the best premium live TV streaming service. Um, thank you. Thank you, though, YouTube. You can, you can fuck right off. Um, uh, uh, Jay Miles. I don't think so. Hmm. Pigeon.im has ICQ as a protocol. Nice. Um, I don't think we both strongly agree, disagree on, on very much, do we? Um, that is, uh, hang on. I just, oh, ah, ah, dad, didn't mean to do that. Um, not a shit ton. Um, why is that? Interesting. Okay. All right. Um, one sec. I mean, to be fair, I think if me and Kai were nice. to like have some real strong disagreements on politics or philosophy in, 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 a, in a mass area, I don't think we would be sitting here in the same street talking much. <laughs> um, can't stand Shapiro because when you give Hass the speed, he debates that you realize he's making the points of a 12th grader. Oh, he's not even making the points of a 12th grader. I mean, that's where I would take a point of contention. He's he's making like ninth grade or eighth grade points. Like he's it's not even either way. Let's watch Ben Shapiro debate Shen Bapiro. 
Uh, apparently, I am Mr. I'm kind of curious at this point. Oh, it's the wrong one. Which one's the right one then, Alo? Give me the link to the, the correct one. Because that's the first shit that comes up, and it's the shortest, by the way. Oh, that's there the... you go. All right. Hey, how's it going, dude? It's going well. I love, I love the new digs. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I mean, you got what? Three of them? So, in my offices, we have like 80. And oh, the volume's that's super low on this. Facebook followers. My wife's a doctor, and I feel like that's more empowering than like... Dude, I have like millions of people who are members of my audience. That's due to American racism. No, you stupid... Any societal structure that results in a racial inequality is itself racist. I mean, I've been doing this for legitimately more than half my life. I'm 35, and I started when I was 17. And every nice. racial disparity is attributable to a system that would... Okay, this is painful. Um, Dauntless, uh, Dauntless Dre, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the, the sub. Um, um, <laughs> Sag, um, this is, dude, I, Ben Shapiro is just... Is rooted in slavery. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't my argument. This is Martin Luther King Jr.'s argument. That's and you didn't wrong. let black Americans be Americans. We're here to cash the check because we're not included in the bargain. Include us in the bargain. When it comes to diversity, you know, there's this slogan that diversity is our strength. Well, there's a Robert Putnam, who's a sociologist over at Harvard. He wrote an entire book about the social fabric called Bowling Alone. He was kind of the, the pioneer in the idea of social capital. And what he said is that ethnic diversity only correlates with two things. These are his words. Increased TV watching and increased protest marches. That's all. A, that's a it, lie. I would if I if I if I had a conversation with Ben Shapiro, there's no way I don't just sit there and bring up his book a thousand times. He, his if you're not familiar with True Allegiance, Sue, it is an amazing. It is it is the shittiest work of pseudo action fiction shit. Like it is, yeah, check that one. Oh, that one. Yes, it is an amazing book. It is so bad. That it's actually good. Like, it's hilarious that it's it's just a piece of shit. Like, just imagine, like, the shittiest action movie. That's what mm -hmm. this book is. It's just chock full of stereotypes and just... It is the hackiest trope-filled bullshit that you could ever read. I would... I'd never get past it. I'd just be sitting there the entire time talking to him, being like, yeah, 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 yeah. But when Brett Hawthorne says... That's the, the main... That's the protagonist's name, by the way. Um, you know, yeah, it's... I would just be going back to it. Yeah, 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 that's fine. But that fiery Latina rancher that you seem so obsessed with in the book. Um, <laughs> let's talk about that, Ben. I wouldn't be able to have a, an actual conversation with this person. He's just intolerable. Oh, uh, yeah, I know. Think of who he's writing for. Every moment in the book is a trashy treasure. It is... Um, oh yeah, no, his descriptions of Brett Hawthorne are amazing. Um, holy fuck. Like he's a, he's a six foot three bear of a man who stood, who stood bare chested 220 pounds. You're like, Ben, your fetishes are coming through. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder why his wife is always dry. It's just, it's so brutal. It's so brutal. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, shit. Just, I, I wouldn't be able to, I would not be able to engage with this dude in good faith. I'd just be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Social construct. Back to true allegiance. Here in chapter three. <laughs> I would be having a, a hard time having a conversation with him without constantly bringing up. But your wife is constantly dry around you. <laughs> He's like, a... oh, my wife's a doctor. Oh. Uh... Yeah, so your wife should know <laughs> that we um, don't try unless they no longer have an interest in you at all because you're just disgusting to them. His eyebrows are on point. All right, let's let's try. I'll try. Yeah, right, all right, I'm right. Uh, America's uh, just a, a history of whites keeping blacks down and that no progress has essentially been made. If there is progress, it's mostly a lot. That's totally possible and plausible. And the problems that have plagued communities in the United States, not just the black community in the United States, but problems of racism or problems of sexism, the way those get alleviated is sign everybody a $80,000 check 
and the problem will be alleviated. I, I do know that there are, Viva, I do know that there are some women that do have more single motherhood. I mean, the single motherhood rate in the black dryness issues, yes, and that have to have lubes and stuff, but. I don't necessarily think you don't that have to have an if you in the way he explains it. I guess if you call everybody racist, you don't have to have an argument. You believe in the inferiority or superiority of a group based on race. You're just full of it. I never said that stuff. I, I'm sorry, but you decided that you wanted to throw a firebomb at the at the federal courthouse. Uh, who are you going to believe, your, your eyes or me? He drove up in his vehicle and cruel could be described as a Molotov. Yeah, Kudo. His wife is a is a doctor. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know if anybody anybody has heard before, but Ben Shapiro's wife is a doctor. I think he may have mentioned it once or twice. Yeah. Act of terror. Thirty-six year old Ben Shapiro suspected of driving the white SUV seen here, then throwing out the window a fiery bomb at the federal courthouse. It is no more or less than what we have seen in the movies and otherwise. It was bottles which contained a flammable fluid that was ignited and lofted from the vehicle, smashing into the building and onto the sidewalk. So, like, so, I, I'm not a fan of people. Here's some- Shapiro returns the next day, this time armed with two Molotov cocktails, both aimed at the courthouse. Oh, Amris, that's a good idea. Oh, that's a good idea. Give me one sec. Commands. What? We're going to create an auto command. Um, oh, when do you know Shapiro's, Ben Shapiro's wife is a doctor? Yeah, anytime anybody mentions Ben Shapiro. You know what? I have to, I have to script the auto commands. Um, so Shapiro, doctor. Hi, Mia. Auto command. Hey, Mia. There we go. All right. Cool. I will get that done after the show. Um, uh, yeah, right now, binary. Leave me alone. Don't get into my shit. Is, like, is ben says bothering. that his Why wife is dry a lot. I have a belief system that's different than yours. Then so the hell what? As long as I'm not bothering you, what difference does it make to you how I feel about things? Tough shit. I mean, like, I'm sorry that... At some point, somebody's got to restore some semblance of law and order here. Like, okay, you're you're an a-hole, but all right. I mean, it's a free country. This is a, this is a great damned country. Oh, okay, Viva. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Oh, he's it's just a, so. It's, it's, it's a hor It's a horrifying medical condition that needs uh needs to be fixed. Uh. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Uh, Alo, I haven't actually made the command. Um, just wrote myself a post-it note because I have to script the auto commands. Um, so, yeah, command does not exist yet. Um, there we go. Uh, Ben's sister, Abby, is even worse. We have a community member who lives right down the street. I mean, like, hey, there's her house right down the street from Abby Shapiro. Like, walk down the street and knock on her door. Um, so. Yeah, Viva, yeah, I know. That's what, that's, yeah, that's what his wife, who's a doctor, told him, yeah. Have I seen Dave Rubin stand up? No. <laughs> I think, I think, uh, Viva, I think that was... His wife not wanting to break his little fragile ego, and 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 not tell him the truth that she that he just doesn't do anything for her. Uh, She's disgusted with him, and she doesn't want to have sex with him. Uh Solurial. Yeah, I know. I I've seen that rhetoric too. That you know Abby's hot and shit like that. I don't get it, but I'm a gay dude anyway, right? Like my. There's some women that I can look at and be like, yeah, she's fucking Wait, hot, but we, I don't see it with we, her. Can we put up a picture of Abby? Let's uh, see what this this conversation is about. Uh, yeah, give me one sec here. Um, I, I just don't, I don't get it. Um, I don't know. We're going to get at it. 
I, mm. I mean, if you look at like, you know, like the girl next door. Kind she's of, not unattractive, you know, but she's not you know, hot. Yeah, she's not hot. She She's not unattractive either. Like, I mean, she's not like, you know, butt face dog ugly, but then again, I mean, by appearance wise, she's not. I forgot that I'm good. Oh God, no, I can't. I can't. I cannot watch a comp. <laughs> the top comment. Okay, so the Lake Mister Sir gave me was uh, Dave Rubin's stand up a stand up compilation. Uh, the top comment is Dave Rubin is to comedy what Dave Rubin is to political commentary. <laughs> I, I just have to say that she would be like one of those chicks that you know you keep as like a side chick until the one that you actually want to be with shows up. Just saying. Uh, oh Jesus! All right, uh, let's not. If we don't, let's uh, Solurial, Um Let's see. Uh, okay, so police officer hurled slurs, shoved trans woman who's being assaulted. Court hears. Where is this? Uh, Manhattan, April last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Um, non-binary. I mean, not to breeze past it. I mean, this, this is just, here's, here's the article basically that non-binary posted. Um, uh, NYPD officers shoved, uh, shoved a trans person call, uh, called them a bunch of slurs. And, um, in case you like have your head firmly placed up your ass, the NYPD has a history of transphobia, homophobia, misogyny, and racism. Just, you know, as an aside. So, you know, there's that. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. It's so fucking bad. His stand up. Uh, uh, do, do, do. I've Oh God, I've seen Dave Rubin's early comedy. I see. And this is, uh, yeah. Where was Stonewall again? All right. New York. Um, Honestly, like I'm, we all, we know I'm already like, I'm a stand up nerd. Like this is the sort of thing, like some people are music, music nerds and stuff like that. I'm a snob when it comes to stand up, right? Like I, I love the art. I love the craft. I'm, I could never do it. Um, but from an analytical point of view, I, I really do understand it. Um, and I, Dude, there's very few things in this world worse for for me to have to suffer through watching than hacky comedy. And Dave Rubin has hacky comedy written all over him. Uh, do I like Bill Burr? Yeah, Bill's a solid uh, Bill's a solid performer and writer. Um, my my top living stand up is Doug Stanhope, of course. I quote him i mention him i reference him i i adore the guy he went places that most people will i mean never go as far as material um hey kodo with the five gift subs sue you're one of the recipients i see that thank you kodo um Maniac, I fucking love Stanhope. Stanhope, Stanhope's a god. Uh, Sue, god. Jamie Lee, Angie Tsunami, uh, Babu TV, and So Wobbly. Uh, all congratulations. And again, thank you, Kodo. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I, I, you know, I miss Patrice so fucking quick. So quick. Um, hey, Miss Hicks. I have, to, I, have to, I have to see something real quick. Shoot. Bend over smart. Um, that would be my last five ex-girlfriends. Um, if you scroll up just a little bit before. Oh, uh, yeah. Five. Um, uh, oh, let's see. Do you ever fear that you'll hook up with somebody and afterwards find out they're everything you despise, like meet a guy and he ends up being like Ben Shapiro? Um, I've never hooked up with somebody who I would absolutely dis despise based on principle. Um, my ex who turned into a stalker, we've talked about him here on the channel before. Um, he was an utter piece of shit who was emotionally manipulative and abusive towards me, uh, in, in the long run. Um, you know, I just like, I don't even think I despise him. I, I, you know, he's the piece of shit I wasted my twenties on. 
right? Like he, I wasted my good years, my health, uh, with that piece of shit. Um, but I wouldn't even go so far as to say I despise him. Um, so no, I, I, I don't have that. And I've got somebody now, like, and to be quite frank, if like we went our separate ways, I doubt I would like even seek someone out after that. I'd just be done. I'd be good. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I'm an a- aromantic. Um, I, I don't do the mushy, handholdy bullshit. It's never made sense to me. Um, and so, not asexual, but I am aromantic. Um, so, yeah. Um, either way. Yeah. Yeah, Kai's pretty cool. I think I fucked up by sending a 19 year old hardcore lefty, the George Carlin soft language, but nice, nice Joe. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, my intro to stand hope was baiting.org. Fuck. Yeah. Google is her. Um, people who, uh, stand hope got its like really his start here in Vegas. I have one of the earliest known, uh, the earliest, uh, clip of stand hope performing in 1995 in a club here in Las Vegas. Um, he came of age, like he came of age as a comic in the Las Vegas scene. Um, so, you know, he was always kind of weird to start with. Uh, please clap for Kodo. Um, let's fucking, uh, let's give a little applause. There we go. Applause for Kodo. Um, there's one vending machine for every 23 people in Japan. They have batteries to dispense free food and drinks in the event of a disaster. Random facts. Non-binary. That's, Super cool, actually. That's really fucking badass. Um, uh, not on topic, just kissing up. Uh, dauntless. But you're the first lefty content creator that I've enjoyed in a couple of years. Former feminist, think the hobbit there and back again. Fair enough. Whatevs. I like you and I love the chat. Dauntless, thank you kindly. I try to run a very big tent um, and, you know, based on the experiences that I've had in my life and the people that I've known in my life, um, you know, yeah, I, I, I kind of abhor that same think. I just put it that way. Oh, Jesus. Oh, uh, if I could go into, if I could talk about the rabbit holes I went down this weekend for viewing and some of the shit I was reading and watching this weekend, but like, I honestly left Twitch would have my head on a pike <laughs> for it. It's really fascinating though. Um, I str- I strive to be aromantic, but I have uncontrollable feelings. Fair enough. Um. Never heard that aromantic, but it like perfectly explains me. Maniac, it took me a lot of years to realize that. I, I, like the term really wasn't even prevalent when I finally came to that conclusion. Um, but yeah, that's that's a thing. Some people just don't do it. Like it just doesn't make sense in our heads. Like I, I don't, it doesn't click for me. Um, yeah. I got this. <laughs> Oh, shit. Uh, not a, but a bit of a fringe take, but a lot of the time claiming oneself as a romantic is a nicely subtle way of signaling sociopathy. Uh, well, I mean, maybe Solarial. I mean, I don't, I, I, we've, I've done psych, uh, psych profiles before, um, with actual psychologists and therapists. Um, but I mean, I don't exhibit most, uh, I have, I think, what is it? Uh, 32 markers for the UK version. And I think like 28 or something like that for, for the U S version. I don't even break double digits, um, for the, the screener, let alone, um, the actual full profile. So yeah, you know, I'm not, but yeah. Um, um, yeah, it be over. It's it's sort of like all of the trappings of a s- traditional relationship that most people crave. That that sort of like lovey dovey shit. Romance, romance, right? Take all that shit and throw it out the window. It doesn't mean I don't like you know companionship. It doesn't mean I don't enjoy my partner's company. It doesn't mean that it, you know we don't fucking get down. It just means that at the end of the day, don't ex- I don't want a rose from you. I don't expect a rose from you. Don't expect a rose from me. Don't expect a fucking card with me pouring out all of my heartfelt feelings for you because quite frankly, 
how I will feel about you is different than that. Um, all of that sort of stuff, the trappings of a romantic relationship don't make sense in my head. They just don't. It just doesn't make sense in my head. Um, my nightmare is trying to sleep next to somebody. I know people like Mitre in the community who, like, he can't go to sleep without, you know, his partner next to him. That's a fucking nightmare scenario for me. Go back to your own fucking house. This is why we live in separate houses, right? Like, you got your space, I got mine. We have our lives. There is a Venn diagram overlap where they intersect, um, but we also have our own lives, and it works amazingly for us. Yeah. Um, wobbly. Oh, no worries. Uh, let's see. We'll keep the pikes away from now. Uh, reveal the info. We'll keep the pikes away from now. <laughs> what can I say? I prefer peaceful extremism. Just have to pick the t what table I want to stay at. Nice, Dauntless. Um, if a man has a computer that's powered by a man that he has trapped in his basement running on a giant hamster wheel, but this man uses his computer to solve starvation in Africa, saving about one life every year, do you think this is overall good or bad situation and why, by the way, he can't power it any other way? I refuse to answer those sorts of like philosophical hypotheticals, J. Miles, just because they're, they're false binaries. Um, the, the, what you're attempting to achieve is something that anarchists absolutely despise. You're, you're arguing in uh, the means, the ends justify the means, which this is the point of contention between anarchists and authoritarian leftists all the time. This is why I read that clip, uh, read that excerpt between, uh, from Bakunin about Marx. The authoritarian leftists believe that Fine, so you have to throw a few people in the gulag. Fine, maybe you have to line a few people up on the wall, but it's for the greater good, right? Anarchists sit back and say, no, you're still utilizing authoritarianism. You're still causing harm to an individual in your pursuit of freeing others. And that undermines your ethical grounds, any ethical grounds that you may have. And so I, as an... Well as an anarchist, I reject the concept. Um, let's see. Kodo, I would have... Well, I don't know. Well, I, I think there are some that I would definitely wouldn't shed a tear over. Well, you're, 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 you've got a weird, you, you've got an internal battle between vengeance sought and re a restorative justice wanted. And so I, I recognize that. I see that. Uh, namaste. I, I recognize that in you, you know, that sort of thing. Like, I see it. You struggle with it. It's, you know, the, the, the visceral wants versus the, uh, the intellectual demands. Are we talking to me or are we talking to someone in chat? To you. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. Let's see. Well, I, you know, what can I say? It, it's well, it, you're human. <laughs> That's you're human. Like it's it's mm -hmm. not really it's not a it's just a it's you know like I said in almost day it's seeing it's seeing that in just a fellow human being. It's like yeah, we all have that that instinct and that you know higher level intellectual desire, and uh, sometimes they can come into competition with one another. Um, I, I need that so much. I've never had an, ent a not entirely codependent relationship where we were aware before trying not to get into a relationship that we didn't want. Oh, Jesus. Uh, y'all should buy a duplex. That'd work. Eh? Um, a few straights over. Um, let's see. Wait, what did Viva say? Um, oh, uh, what did Mr. Say? Uh, all right. Well, I'm done scrolling. Uh, Milo, oh Jesus Christ, oh, fucking hey Milo, um, that's somewhere between Ulu Leftcom and JC Dentonist. Oh Jesus, uh, uh, so <laughs> uh, nineteen eleven, a Paris orphanage held a raffle where the prize was live human babies. Oh, uh, Mark uh, Machiavelli wasn't an anarchist. No, uh, Reed, sorry I'm drunk. No worries, Reed. 
Uh, I totally get wanting the space uh, boundaries and not digging the romantic stuff. I, I even get only wanting someone that's good at scratching your itch. But does that mean you never crush on someone or get infatuated at all? Those feelings are turned off. Um, honestly, I've had it happen once. Um, I've had it happen once. And it was not even so much as like the swooning sort of shit. It was... How would I describe this? An over-intellectualization of the expectations placed upon me by society, right? Like, I'm hitting my, like, I'm hitting, like, 23-24, right? We'll paint the fucking scene, I suppose. I'm hitting, right, 23-24. This is when you're supposed to, like, start actually, like, dating properly, right? I'm a gay dude. I've, you know, I was in the closet during high school. I've, you know, I've come out for the most part I've started having dates you know I've doing been doing that stuff but you know you start thinking like oh you're supposed to like you know date someone like have a serious relationship and all that sort of stuff and in that sort of like internalizing society's expectations manner um I ignored a series of red flags both in myself and the people and ultimately person who I was pursuing those relationships with all sort of in the name of achieving that like traditional romantic relationship. And only after I came to terms with that and it was a long Rocky road, um, that I was able to come to terms with that. That doesn't work for me. It didn't work for me back then, but it doesn't work for me internally either. Um, so, yeah, there's a whole fucking thing for you. Be over. Um, we're all just food for aliens. Um, <clears throat> fair enough, non-binary. That's fair enough. Um yeah, sadly, there are those who would happily employ violence to crush the seeking for justice and liberation. That is true, Che. Um, don't compare the violence of the far right with the righteous self-defense that the left applies, quote-unquote. Um, uh, to do, to do, uh, blank, blank, blank. What works, what works for you internally? Wink, says Finger. I mean, I, I would have to say, like, for myself, you know, where it, it, it's always an uphill battle and, and it takes time. Uh, when I first started to learn about everything that I went through and understood that it was the simple act of a genocide being conducted against me and my people, uh, I thought all child care workers should be Put up against the wall and shot to death. Then I went to all child care workers should be stoned. And if they live, they live because God has decided that they needed to live for whatever reason. And if they died, well, then that was God's decision too. Now I think they should have nothing to do with kids at all. Forever. That's all I got to say. Um... Okay. Yes, KS call me. Hi, how's it going? Oh. Um, oh, interesting. We actually, uh... yeah. All right. Um, all right. So, all right. I'm. Let's see. The authoritarian leftists are so loud. Yeah, they are. Not unless they're super loud. Um, and coming from all directions, different but equally horrible problems on the right. Done with the left and right. I mean, uh, that that's the thing. You have to remember, Dauntless. The authoritarian axis is like the full horizontal axis, right? Like the the left right uh, it's it's the full vertical axis, I should say. The left and the right is split, right? To a left and the right. But the authoritarian libertarian axis is up. There's an authoritarian right and left. And most of the dickheads that we know on the right, the alt right, the conservatives, these sorts of people, they're authoritarians. Right? They're perfectly willing to tell you what you can do with your body or what how society should you know th should run that sort of thing. They're they're authoritarians. They're north of the axis, <clears throat> and on the left we sort of 
Jo- uh, uh, let's see. Who wants to start the radical upright? Uh, that, yeah, Y axis. Yeah, it, it, we don't seem to separate that out on the left. Like we're we're all about this pseudo left unity, um, and so we you know we allow for authoritarianism when we should be railing against it. Telling somebody how they have to live their life, how they have to operate, and utilizing state violence to do it doesn't seem to me like the way to go. It just doesn't. You know, whether you're doing it with right-wing or left-wing aesthetics, you're still being an authoritarian dick. And I don't really care whether you're wearing, you know, a star or whether you're carrying a swastika. Like if you're willing to shoot somebody for not doing it your way, you're not you're not on my team, right? Like you're not you're not an ally. Like it's just the way it goes. And all I know is finger every single childcare worker who came to reservations in indigenous homes and stole the children because the kill the Indian save the child program that was completely the genocide indigenous people and then gaining a mass profit profit off of these kids me being one of them uh yeah they're all fucking bad and that's authoritarianism uh with right-wing aesthetics due to the profiteering um you could yeah. do you could do that with a left-wing aesthetic you really could and soviets and the chinese have done that to indigenous communities before um and so you can do it with left-wing aesthetics. But in the Canadian instance, it was authoritarianism with right-wing, <laughs> right-wing tendencies instead. Um, Got to get that profit. Um, let's see. Kodo, I've been playing into all those expectations since I was not even an adult, and now I'm almost 30 and find myself struggling to be self-determined individual and form myself as a being from the ground up with all those formative years gone. Dude, Kodo, it's a bitch. The amount of time we waste as individuals in this society due to sh- just societal shit uh shit fuckery that i mean they absolutely like figuratively or literally rape us i mean take your pick but society does a number on you know if you're not perfectly you know neurotypical standard box standard cis heteronormative fucking white uh white picket fence uh two and a half kids with a dog and, you know, that sort of shit. Like, if you don't fit that box, the expectations of society will do a number on you. Yeah. Um, and, and I have to state, like, even now, where they have um, some of the little uh, groups that are supposed to be, like, watchdogs for child and family services and shit that are composed of, of survivors of the 60s scoop in residential schools. Um, most of them aren't anywhere near. No finger, the war to kill off the indigenous people never ended. It's still going on today. Yeah. Shit's still happening. There's some legislation that's been passed, like, or is being passed that's making a little bit of headway, but, you know. Yeah, not fast enough. And... A lot of these groups of these people are willing to permit child and family services to still have, how do I put it, unfeathered access to indigenous children. Let's just put it this way. If you're outside of Canada and you're you're hearing like child protective services and stuff like that, you may have a different experience. Canada turned it into a profiteering methodology. Um, Sue can run you the numbers, but basically stealing a kid, uh, and then housing the kid can net you tens of thousands of dollars. So you're looking at around $10,000 per month per child in your home. There you go. That's stolen child. So that's about anywhere from 160 to $180,000 a year per child. And most of these foster homes and places have anywhere from... Four to six to sometimes more. How do I get one of these kids? Yeah, right finger. 
Yeah, it's 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 in Canada. It's a whole other ball game, right? Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Number one predictor for um, whether you're going to end up in the crim- quote unquote criminal justice system in America is if you were a foster kid. That's the number one predictor. If you were in foster yeah. care, that is the highest uh, statistical predictor for whether you would be in the criminal justice system, aka a prison slave. Um, but even our CPS is not we parents get a stipend but nothing near the degree and level that the canadian system has implemented in canada it's profiteering there's no way around that yeah yeah the country subsidizes stealing children goofy that's yeah (laughs) yeah yeah Uh, Yeah, the shit it's it's what we call up here the uh, federally funded black black slave slave and sex trade market for children. It's a whole fucking thing. Uh, Read, I'm a sock dem. I'm fine with that. Uh, but do our ideologies like end up killing each other in some utopian uh, World War Three? No. Uh, Read, um, yeah. anarchists can get along with a lot of fucking people. You'd be surprised. Uh, and sock dems are super malleable. So yeah, no worries there. Um, yes, yeah, Mister, that's still happening. Oh, it's the J-Reg leftist unity. Um, nice, Che. Uh, also, uh, Solurial, I got that uh, that uh, fucking uh, psychopathy mapping that you sent me. I, I pulled it. Um, residential schools. Um, let's see. 52 Gen X. Relationships, lovers, and friends. I'm cool solo. Yeah, I read that. Hang on, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, uh, goofy for Jesus. Here's why they can't just take our kids back. It's called the police. <laughs> it's, the, it's the same reason we can't do anything, basically. So unless we choose to take up arms and literally viol- and be part of vi- the first time in, in, throughout the 150 years of Canada being Canada violate a treaty with Canada and pick up arms to protect our children from CFS who has Canada has been found in the five check boxes of the UN tribunals uh, um, acts of genocide why were they taken in the first place well let me see when you're put on a reserve forced to live on a reserve that is the shittiest chunk of land possible, um, have no clean running water, um, and the housing that you get given is really substandard and full of mold and shit like that, and there's no jobs on that reservation, so you're stuck in poverty. Yeah. I can uh, I can tighten that up a little. One, uh, step one, civilize the savages. There's your first part, right? This is... This is- part historically we had to bring civilization to the savages that's their the shtick that they started with then later on due to orchestrated systemic state influence see the reservations they a series of events were created or a series of circumstances were created in which based on your judgment you could then take the children so first you said you needed to you know Strip them of their culture, cultural genocide. Then, after stripping them of the wealth of their of their land, the resources of their nation, isolating them in little fucking prison plots, basically, and creating conditions in which they have to live in poverty, then you come in and say, "Oh, well, this child is living in uh, unacceptable conditions in poverty. We're going to take it, uh, take the child for the benefit of the child." What? Pay no attention to those rape rates. Um, there you go. It, yeah. it's, it's a shtick they've been running for a while. I mean, if you're an American, you're familiar with this shtick, but I mean, you know, it, it's um to uh, to our credit or maybe this is this isn't even like Canada is worse in this regard. They they are legitimately worse. Um there's not many things in this world that you can say like America is not as bad when it comes to oppressing some marginalized group of people. Look, we treat our indigenous people like utter dog shit, but 
Canada is actually worse in this regard. Which is a hell of a thing. <laughs> it's an accomplishment. Yeah. Goofy for Jesus, you're looking at probably like a small view of the percentage rate that might get uh, better benefits than veterans. Uh, and that's usually because they're related to chief and council. So they get extra benefits for that. Whereas majority of the rest of us get shit. Uh, be over. Love the fucking you rocking the solo sh uh, solo shit. All of your other friends have bad marriages, divorces, and kids and shit like that. Love it. Um, let's see. Okay, I can. You know, I I have to say I'm kind of really proud of a lot of the people here in the chat um, because a lot of you have have stated some very seriously real and true facts that most people wouldn't give the time of day to even consider looking at. You know, I try and tell people like anarchists, like I know all of my chat aren't automatically anarchists, but the fact of the matter is, is if you show me like an oppressed marginalized group, I'll find you an anarchist in their crowd somewhere. Like, we, we're natural allies to anybody who's being oppressed or shat upon. Like it's, it, we always have been like, you show me like a women's right movement. I'll show you some anarchists. You show me, you know, black rights movement. I'll you show you some anarchists, you know, workers movement, anarchists, indigenous rights movement, anarchists. Like we're going to be there for you one way or the other, because usually the stuff that's shitting on those people is the same stuff we ha we hate anyway. Or like, you know, hey, all that oppressive hierarchy, nation state, police state bullshit. Yeah, guess who's shitting on the marginalized community? Hmm. I wonder who. Uh, yeah. And I have lived on the reservation, but I currently at, at the moment live in a city. And I don't get any specialties. <laughs> at all. Weed's cheap that um mm -hmm. dauntless it, it is i'm not denying that all i'm saying is is as far as indigenous relations go in north in uh in north on north america or in north america versus vis-a-vis -vis the united states versus canada um this is one area where we're just not quite as shit um uh, you know per the like still continually like profiting from and profiting from the stealing and cultural gen stealing of children and cultural genocide of indigenous communities you know it's it's again it's 95 percent versus 99 percent. it's you know fucking everybody's a shithead but is in one of the few areas that the canadian experience is actually worse um yeah, yeah. um which is weird as an American, you know, we're used to being the, the, the meth lab on fire underneath the Canadian apartment, right? We're used to that. When somebody comes along and says, you know, Canada's actually worse in this regard, right? Well, you know, it kind of throws us all off our game a little bit. Like, wait, what? So. <clears throat> um, uh, wait, wait, wait. What are we talking about non-binary? Men's rights. Like how men don't have a voice or the issues men face are not taken seriously. That dude, non-binary. I don't know what that was apropos of. Um, but if that was a stab in the dark as to one of the whole rabbit holes I went down over the weekend, it actually is one of them. Um, it's not that directly, it, but that is a sort of a tangential thing. Um, no, that's a very real thing. Dude, men's the shit men go through. Like, look, I'm not saying women don't have to come on. We're all adults. We can have a nuanced intersectionalist conversation, right? Like that's it, things are, um, where did we even get into? It, it was, was non-binary mentioned somewhere up above, like, uh, like how men don't have the voice or the issues men, uh, uh, face aren't taken seriously, which I mean, as a male, God, I hope you don't mind me going there. Uh, as a male rape survivor, I bet you can relate to that. That, you yeah, know. I can relate to that. Yeah. Men, men, I mean, 
Men are sexually assaulted. They're not taken seriously. Men, the male suicide rate is through the fucking roof, right? Like the, you know, if you're going to have, um, I was reading a, a study, just an actual NIH study. Um, and oh yeah, yeah. Um, yes, exactly. Um, no, no, it's, it's, it is a thing. Um, there are, there, you will find some anarchists speaking out on that here. I'll, I'll prove it. I'll do it right now. Um, 24 percent of 24.9 percent of relationships will have a violent uh, a violent incident contained within them 49 percent of those uh 49 percent of those relationships will be non-reciprocal violence meaning one party started it in uh in the cases of i'm sorry 49 percent will be reciprocal 51 percent will be non-reciprocal violence in the non-reciprocal violence category, so half of all uh, violent incidents or domestic violence incidences, right? Seventy percent of those violent uh, those violent confrontations in non-reciprocal violent uh, uh, domestic violence incidents are started by women. So you start with your twenty-four percent. Twenty-four percent of, of uh, relationships will experience some level of domestic violence. Of that. 49% will be reciprocal violence, meaning both parties are involved in one way, shape, or form. 51% of those relationships will have non-reciprocal violence, meaning one party initiates and the other party does not engage. Of the non-reciprocal relationship, uh, violent relationships, 70% of that reciprocal violence is initiated by women. Those male abuse victims are not taken seriously. Go down to the police station and say, like, I mean, my stepfather I've talked about, he's a dickhead. Like, we all agree. He's a total dickhead. Um, this is an actual NIH study, Wilhelm. Um, he's a total dickhead. But his ex-wife was super abusive, and he couldn't get anybody to take take him seriously for years and years and years. He's like that baby boomer generation, right? Like, she was hitting him upside the head with a frying pan at one point. All right? And he couldn't get anybody to take him seriously. Man up. You're a dude. Oh, I can only imagine what it was like for you. So, like, Jesus Christ, fucking, okay. just. So, I just want to state some things here. Prior to 150 years ago, it was England up here in Canada and France, and the French Bye, Halo. sold Quebec in that areas to England without even consulting the indigenous tribes back in the day. Um did that uh, then when Canada decided to separate from England due to the uh, Royal Proclamation of what is it 1876 if my memory serves me correct which stated that um, the after the Spanish Portuguese French and English wars had ended that England wouldn't be the only 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 the king the sovereign king or king of England would be the only person that indigenous people could bring forth any issues of complaints or whatnot of being unfairly treated and so forth. Um, and that over here in the colonies where they had set up colonies was supposed to not ever do what they did and have done and they're still doing. Uh, and which is where you get the little tea party as well as the separation of Canada from the British crown and where Canada actually came into an existence 150 years ago. Jesus. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice <dude>. French and English war will never end. We're just on a break at the moment. Fair enough. Um, Suddenly, there's no meme in my sales, says Mister. Oh, honestly, makes me feel bad to say this, but whenever I self-declare as a, a voluntary, oh, vol sale, I'm not. Uh, just, I'm scared to death of being misused by a girl who has no concept of faithfulness. In her. I, I, look, <sighs> Solario, a lot of us carry fucking baggage. Let's just put it that way. Um. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I love the meme that got posted into shared content. Um, 
Yeah, it's still a vassal of the it, monarchy. It, it only the uh, Viva in only the court language and some small percentage of parliament. Otherwise, they've pretty much gotten rid of English rule and law, which is why most lawyers and judges only get a little bit of a brush over of the royal proclamation. They don't actually get taught it in school in their schools. Do y'all still wear the stupid fucking uh, the stupid fucking wigs though? No. Okay. Well then, welcome to the modern world. That's that's my rule, right? If you're still wearing the goofy fucking wigs, uh, you can just shove right off with your so-called justice system. I'm sorry. What what the fuck? What the fuck? It, it, Britain and Australia. I, 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 yeah, like I thought, I, Che, I didn't know. I'm just checking. Let me, let me check actually. Uh, in, uh, wigs. Uh, yes, exactly, Maniac. The fucking wigs. Um, oh, yeah, like, sir, uh, okay. So, circuit judges in county court don't wear them, but uh, judges in the crown court still retain the wigs in Canada. Yeah. Yeah, and that's only not even really is just a formality. It's not like an actual thing. Be over. Like you know, what I mean? be it's over. Like a, a yeah, really Merkins. You caught me off guard with that. That was fucking amazing. Oh, right, Reed. <laughs> Oh, nice. Interesting. Okay, so I can I can start qualifying um, these countries. Hong Kong's out. Uganda's out. Zambia's out. Jamaica's out. Fucking uh, New Zealand's out. Fucking New Zealand. Um, Scotland. Uh, Scotland's out. I can just scroll through this. This is great. Who sent this to me? Uh, che. Thank you so much. This is super useful. These are like uh, judicial robes from around the world. And so I can just scroll through here and be like, okay, so y I can't I can't take you seriously. I can't take you seriously. <laughs> I can't, yeah. I can't. Oh, amazing. Oh, and for those of you who don't know why I was laughing at that, Merkins are <clears throat> um, toupees for the pubic region. Um, in an era where... Um, body lice were an issue and prostitutes would often shave sex workers as we now call them would shave clean um as a means of remedying and prevention uh merkins were um a status symbol they were uh, many other things um yeah so merkins uh two pays for the pubic region no 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 serious serious twitch serious twitch listen okay there, there, there's two sides of a huge coin here, right? You have turfs and then you have MGDOW. And both of them are both extremists on both ends of that forefront. Che. What the fuck? <laughs> Shit. Um, it's quite a fucking picture, Che. <clears throat> I don't want to know. It's um, it's the president of Taiwan's judicial yuan, fucking basically doing the Nazi salute. <laughs> Finger that's called MGTOW. Uh, men going their own way, M G T O W. It's pronounced MGTOW. Yeah, we may need some cultural context, for sure, Jay. For sure. Um. Men's rights is a real yeah. thing. It's incredibly serious. They get zero support and activism, etc. I don't usually feel safe to even say anything about it. Little boys too. Um, yeah, y y Dauntless. I feel you. Um, Quebecois people usually carry the uh, carry usual trade I've seen in French people. So either you would love them to death, or you want to pitchfork them with the fury of Satan. Uh, I grew up f minutes from the like twenty minutes from the Canadian border in Vermont, and Quebec is right across. Um, so yeah, I've seen my fair share of Quebecois, um, of the Quebecois. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah, no worries, Dauntless. Um, 
Let's see. Very warming. Uh, also, very co warming and very cozy in the winter. Um, thank you, Reed. I think, I, I think what we look at, like, some of the things that we look at is if you are, like, I am I don't have any problem with anyone uh, supporting, in a sense, of feminism or whatever. Uh, I think for myself, I look and see and would suggest avoiding the organizations. I think the concept, it, I think, I, I, okay, so what's like the fundamental human problem, right? Concept, halfway decent, execution, terrible, right? Mm -hmm. Like that tends to be the human pattern. I think the concept is okay. I think, I think if you don't be a whiny little bitch about it, um, and be like, look, okay, so I feel as a heterosexual man in today's world that I am being put upon, that there's a series of judicial rulings, societal changes, normative changes that, that I disagree with and I feel are oppressive or whatever, whatever the argument is. And I am choosing not to participate in this. I'm going my own way, right? Like I'm just going to issue feminine companionship and I'm going to do things in my own in my own way I'm going to concentrate on building a financial base and owning a home and traveling and all these sorts of things that's fine cool live your life but if your version of men going their own way is sitting on the internet on Twitter bitching about feminists all day long you haven't really gone your own way have you you're oh. yeah so I mean if you want to be a little bitch about it I mean, again, I guess that's your choice, but the, the moniker is definitely not appropriate. Um, so, I mean, you know, that's, that's, I think that the underlying idea is okay. That if you don't like something, uh, no, Kodo, I, trust me, I, you know, if you don't like something, then fine. You don't have to participate in it. Again, I'm not an authoritarian. Right. Like if you feel that there's elements of society that you that contra are contraindicated to your philosophical beliefs and opinions, do your own thing. That's cool. As long as you're not harming anybody else. Whatever. Um, but that doesn't seem to be the tone and tenor that it takes uh, more often than no. not. So. And I'm looking for a video. Here it is. Um, give me a second here. I'm going to post it up. Hey, Agony. Um, so. Yeah. How about cool. orgs for femboys? Um, how about, how come there are no organizations for tomboys? I, there probably are actually. Uh, in this video, in this video, it depicts the murdered and missing indigenous women geez. in Montana. Uh, and what you will notice when these women, these indigenous women are going and men are going there to the courthouses and to that to protest and say, why aren't you doing anything to find these girls or help us? Or doing anything about it there is no women's groups organizations there in support of it at all but yet they are collecting money from the government for it it's it, you know this is this is the thing if uh Solarial, take care of yourself sleep well um kodo please stop spamming good night Solarial. um i saw it the first couple of times I, I think we all did. Um, ooh. Um, if you're a reactionary, then you can't talk about these topics. You just can't. This is the sort of thing that if the, the mere mention of like MGTOW will cause certain people's hair to just be set on fire or turfs, their hair will just be set on fire, right? They'll just lose their fucking minds. Um, but these topics require like adult nuanced intersectionalistly oriented conversation. 
right? Because there are degrees, there are spectrums, there are levels and ways that people interact that, you know, are not binary. And unfortunately, um, oh, interesting. Um, fascinating, Che. Um, yeah, perfect, perfect subject matter for Twitch. We're all adults, right? Okay. You want to do this? Let's do this. All right. Let's, this is we're Sue, so we're getting canceled. Hashtag canceled. Oh. We're, we're fucked. Um, okay. all right. Hey, oh, Kodo once. I've been facing being canceled. Oh, day as twice. Person. Oh, okay. So, sorry. I could have sworn. I saw a bunch of shit. Um, sorry, Kodo. Um, good luck. It was a good run, sir. Who's familiar? Who has heard about Super Straight? Heard this shit yet, Sue? Which one? Super Straight? Super Straight. Is that the same thing as Scared Straight? No. Okay. Then yes. probably not. Yeah. I'm fucking Amherst. No. You Kaiser. Oh, boy. Um. Okay. One, Che, I will dispel that right now. It's not 4chan. 4chan has picked up on it. But it doesn't. The dates don't line up. Um, I looked into that to my, uh, myself. Um, good games, is Mister. Uh, I I did look into that because I'm fascinated with 4chan psyops. They're so affected at the, effective at them. But the uh, that Royce kids TikTok went up in February, February 21st, and the first mention of it anywhere on 4chan is March 4th or March 2nd. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's, um, it's new and everyone's big mad. Dauntless, that may be the best summary for it yet. All right. It's, this is what you found. Um, that's not sweetie, by the way. That's sweaty. Um, I can put I can put up my search results. They have not used that term. Um, basically, what it is 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 a bunch of straight dudes that are tired of Twitter, the Twitter sphere accusing them of being transphobic for not wanting to have sex with trans people. This is the the beginning, middle, and end of the conversation, really. Um, wow. And... I mean, albeit, I'm not going to... I'm not going to sit back and demand that someone has sex with someone that they don't want to have sex with. That would be asking... In a kindling to breaking someone. It's uh, this is where we enter the weird nebulous area because you have the people who pick up on it for the troll purposes. You have the people who pick up on it for the memeing purposes because it pisses off a bunch of people. And the people it pisses off, it pisses them off easily. And so the trolls pick up on it right out of the gate. Right? And then you do actually have a core contingent that has a legitimate complaint and I have how do I put this I have a, a Google photo uh, a Google of uh, uh, photos listing of roughly a thousand maybe a little more screenshots from Twitter and all other social media that is generally referred to as the boxer ceiling, where there is rank homophobia directed at cis gay males because they express a want for biological male companionship. And it is dark. It is... It's it's not isolated incidents. It isn't. As a gay dude, trust me, it isn't. And this isn't something we speak about very often. But there is a, a very vocal contingent 
that is highly abusive. As in death threats, as in rape threats, as in threats to family members. And like I said, I got receipts. We can put the fucking link. It is not TOS friendly. It's not going in Twitch. But the link exists, and I can give it to you. And we're talking hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, of screenshots of this rhetoric. And it is disgusting. It is horrific. It is homophobic. It is dehumanizing. And it is nothing new that I haven't experienced directly as a as a cis gay man. And now I it's being called genital preference. Trying to indicate that preferences can be swayed and changed and that sort of thing. And so all of this is coming to the surface again with this super straight thing. Legitimate complaints that have been shoved aside as turf as in transphobia as in all of these other really hotbed set your hair on fire topics that people immediately go to their reactionary mental space there is a toxic element to that when the oppressed when the abused when the marginalized is doing the toxic behavior they can get away with. And that's not seen as necessarily an excuse. And it's a discussion that's very difficult to have because you will be labeled very quickly. And so... (laughs) No, I never thought the toxicity would happen to me. Um, like I said, I, I, if any of you need to see it, I can, I can provide you with the Google photo doc archive that goes back years in some instances. And I mean, it is, it is very rough to read what happens to a gay man when he says, I, I would prefer a biological man. Right, like I'm it means homosexual means same sex relations, right? Like it, yeah. it, it it's yeah. you know, it's kinda in the name. It's kinda what we're about. Yeah. And so yeah. It, it is it is a very rough topic to discuss. And like <clears throat> like I said, it has come back to the surface with this super straight nonsense. And like I said, most of it is nonsense. Most of it is trolly shit. Most of it is like 4chan memeing shit. Um, but the worst kind of thing is when there's a kernel of truth, right? And there's a kernel of truth to it. There is an element of that community that is very abusive and accusatory about how I should live my life. It's, it is, you know, it's a thing. It's a thing and it's a thing. Um, not trying to offend anyone at all. I understand that people are using it as being painful. However, in my opinion, it's not inherently hateful to have a personal preference. Yeah, exactly. Uh, dauntless. Um, yeah. I, I, I wish we lived in a space where I could put this stuff on screen and be like, here, let's scroll through. I mean... 800, 1,000 screen, uh, screenshots of just the most hateful, vile rhetoric towards fellow human beings. No, t- no Twitter suspensions. No huge outcry. And I have one just for towards gay dudes. Right? Like, I'm not even talking about the other communities that have borne this weight. Just speaking for my community. Just gay dudes. It's a problem. Stop telling people how to live their lives. 
I don't care if you're already the marginalized, depressed group. Stop telling people how to live their lives. I don't care whether you're straight, gay, lesbian, bi, trans, whatever. You're a human fucking being. And whether I choose to sleep with whoever I choose to sleep with is my own personal choice. Yeah. That's where the conversation begins and ends, by the way. Stay the fuck out of people's bedrooms. Or, you know, apartment railings or hot tubs or wherever you may get down. Um, but stay the fuck out of people's bedrooms. Unless that's your kink and I don't want to kink shame anyone, you know, if that's what you're into. But, you know, <laughs> help. Down, uh, you know, some dom is stuff you're into, some dom and submissive stuff, you know, uh, that's up to you. Uh, but all the less, that's still your bedroom, <laughs> your privacy, your fucking life. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. Right, Sassy? And thank you, Radical. I love you, too. I just, you know, yeah, it, it, it was interesting, like, going down that rabbit hole this weekend and seeing it, seeing some of the, the, the rhetoric that was spurred on by it and having that link in my back pocket, knowing what I've been through and the sort of experiences I've had in, you know, in and around those communities that, yeah, this, this, this may be, this particular iteration of it may be bullshit. It may be a fucking giant 4chan meme created, uh, you know, designed to create divisiveness within our society and to split the left or some shit like that. But the truth of the matter is, there's some merit in it. And I've lived through that, right? Like, don't discount my my experiences either. I've, I've had that happen to me as well. A lot of gay dudes have. Um, let's see. Reminds me that Reddit cowards let some of the most hateful subs like get to trap but private instead of banning them. Yeah. Um, Dauntless labels are dangerous. Um, id poll is dangerous. It is. Um, protecting marginalized groups, super valuable. Super admirable. Um, but once you turn it into an ideological, uh, you ossify the ideology, it becomes super dangerous. Yeah. Um, uh, yes, I have seen that, Wilhelm, about Steven Crowder accused of soliciting sex from a homeless minor, uh, minor uh, and threatening to sue them if they spoke out. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, boomers unite. Um uh, What's up, Kodo? Oh. Have you ever been on my air? I'm, I'm not sure if I have. Hey, what up, Kodo? I'm trying to remember. I don't think I don't. I, no, because your your volume was set right at the hundred percent even level. Mm. Uh, give me a count to five, please. One, two, three, four, five. Thank you very much. How do I sound now? Uh, you're. <laughs> Ah, uh, boomers unite! Come on, that's funny. Hey, wobbly, it was, it was fine. Sorry, I didn't give you the laugh you deserved, wobbly. But I was coming off a a serious tangent. Um, no, I get it. I get it. I totally get it. And we're here to talk about a serious thing. Actually, wait, wait. I'm not sure if I can hear you. Speak. Yes. Speak, boy. We sure. we can hear you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's, well, no, it's just, it, it's weird because I'm still looking at you on the stream feed and I'll see your mouth moving and then I can't hear you speak. It's like because fucking my head up a little bit, you know? Yeah, and, there, the Discord will be ahead of the stream. Okay. Um, I'm just going to not look at the stream then. That's probably for the best, right? Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. I would have to say, Dauntless, you have probably walked into some of the areas um which were more on the extreme extremist ends and there are plenty of us on the left that um uh, don't subscribe to that um authoritarian bullshit 
Yeah. Oh, oh wait, this sounds like one of mine. What is he saying? Leftists are fuck. I, honestly, I, dude, I, 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 I am. If infrared ever goes the fuck away, which God help us, um, I'm willing to shake that dude's hand. He did a. He put in a lot of good work for the left on Twitch, as far as I'm concerned. He, he, he immediately fucking litmus tested the shit out of people. Dude, I, right away, the authoritarians came right out of the woodwork for him. And I'm super grateful to him for it. I don't do that. Oh, no. Hmm. Um. I, I actually keep it pretty ambiguous, I guess. Uh, I, I used to be very, um, authoritarian, right? Well, I, I mean, I used to be a plain fucking fascist. Um, and I was led to very, very hard left. I'm still kind of getting used to you, anarchists, but it's okay. It's okay if you're an anarchist. I'm not going to have the talk with you. Hey, I teach my, I teach my community not to tr trust MLs anyway. We'll work with you, but we won't trust you. I don't really... Well, I mean, I don't trust myself either. I also don't think of myself yeah. as an ML. I don't really think of myself as uh, pinned down to any ideology. I think that'd be kind of cringe. Um, we have too much history with that team. <clears throat> Including them artillery shelling uh, anarchist clubs and shit like that. Machine gunning us. So. See... See, I used to think that I was a techno-fascist because I'm so big into information security. And I, and I also believe so much in... Well, I mean, I used to believe so much in a meritocracy. So, so I used to believe in um, all this shit, like all these conspiracy theories and shit like that. But instead of thinking that they were bad, like all these QAnon people do, I thought that they were good. And I was like, yeah! Team and non-majoritarian fucking fucking people that are ruling the world. Yeah, fuck, go us. Um, so I, I was there. I don't even know if that's a thing. If, if that's a thing that's defined, but I was there. Um, is is that a political ideology? But but then I slid like very very far left. Um, and now I'm just kind of like floating around. Um, I'm I'm just kind of like a new world order shell. With no world, with no new world order that I believe in. But but I I like you anarchist guys too. Um, what did? Oh, all right. So that was just reference backing that. Um, and yeah, goofy. In case you're not looking at chat, it's a, a Mar an ML is a Marxist Leninist. Which, by the way, all of the MLs. All right. So I'm gonna put it this way: 99.9% .9 of all MLs have never read Marx. <laughs> You know what? I honestly, I haven't either. I've read like a hundred pages of Dust Capital, and I thought that I got the point. And then I just read a bunch of footnotes. But like at, at the same time, I would never consider myself a thing where like I hadn't read all the stuff. And at the same time, I don't feel like reading all the stuff of something that failed. I'm not into stuff that failed. I'm just kind of trying to make my own thing. No, oh, it took us a lot of cracks at capitalism to get it fucking off the ground, too. So, I mean, it's going to implode upon itself. Marxian critiques are accurate. Look, I don't agree with Marx's fucking... I mean, he doesn't really put forth any solutions in Dust Capital. Uh, Capital. But, I mean, the, the solutions that were inferred uh, from his writings... His critiques of capitalism are spot on. I mean, there's no getting around that. Um, but how you go about uh, rectifying the inherent flaws and problems that Marx identifies uh, within capitalism is where the rubber meets the road, as it were. Um, that That's cool. Well, I mean, like, um, as, as far as, uh, like, from what I've seen, all of the descriptions of capitalism from uh, Does Capital seem pretty spot on. And again, I haven't read most of the book, but I've at least been a loser and listened to a bunch of tanky podcasts and shit like that, right? Even if I didn't bother to do the actual fucking uh, book work, I did the footwork, um, uh, you know, as a simp. 
but like uh, it, it, you know, uh, as as far as the prescriptions go, I'm not sure that the prescriptions are like. Now, the, surprisingly enough, a lot of the um, descriptions of the problems that uh. are happening today are completely kind of accurate. But I, I'm not sure that the prescriptions are applicable anymore, and that's kind of where you you anarchist people come in because because the the communist stuff the communist prescriptions for our problems are kind of fucking dated at this point they're not and don't really make that much sense anarchists aren't prefig uh, prefigurative that's that's one of our our benefits is we're not we don't prefigure a system uh anarch in the words of anarchists there is no project of projects we're not about that uh che um I take great exception with the second half of your statement. <laughs> um, always, always remember anarchism is inherently communistic and communism is inherently anarchistic. No, it's not. It's not. It is authoritarian. It is centralized. It is hierarchical. It isn't anarchistic. It just isn't. Now, well, I mean, it, 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 it isn't if you actually collapse the state down into what true communism is supposed to mean, though, is it? Well, even the elimination of the state still li uh, leads to hierarchical structures. You can still have a dictatorship of the proletariat, as he so chose to put it. Well, I just, mean, I mean, just that's, because you that's... invert your hierarchy doesn't mean you don't have hierarchy. Okay, well, I don't mean to sound like Jordan Peterson here, but even if you eliminated all... Uh, all hierarchies that, that are like unjust and all hierarchies that are just like human structures and stuff like that like eventually a hierarchy is going to uh, assemble itself at some point right like i i would hate for that to be the case but i imagine it would be so i've seen kids at a play yard um che i don't like to think i don't like to think of them like lobsters but che che i i see it i see it um, stateless, classless, moneyless society isn't anarchistic. Um, depends how you get there and how you run it. See, that's the thing. Um, classless is anarchists are intersectionalists, right? By our very nature. Um, class is only one axis on the intersectionalist mapping, right? You can still have many levels of oppression and unjust power relationships in a classless society. Okay, so class just addresses the the finances, um, stateless, moneyless. Anarchists aren't necessarily against money. Uh, money. There's um, there are market uh, there are uh, market based uh, and socks that would utilize currency mechanisms, no problem. Um, so anarchists anarchists aren't inherently against money um, by its very nature. Um, after all, at the end of the day, it's just a mathematical mechanism. That we use to organize uh it, yes sue it's just a form of trade yeah it, it's that's so we're not you know one way or the other on that one quite frankly um so it's just like a market yeah there are market socialists and there are ansocs who use market socialism as the foundation for their uh their philosophies i should just put myself out there that i'm not somebody where my form of socialism has a market I'm I'm kind of one of those gay luxury fully automated space communists. Just add anarcho communism and I'm fine. I'm on board with it. Like that's the thing. Is th this is this is why ancoms exist is because there is a differentiation between communism and anarchistic organizing and uh, operating principles. Well, and I I just I just feel like incorporating a market into uh, the like end goal or what you're talking about like in, in any kind of uh, like I ideological structuring and stuff that you're advocating for still includes a market at the end of the day well there's right? there's non-market there's non-market socialists as well and as long as, as lo yeah but I'm not that yeah. I'm not talking about I'm talking about myself okay right? and I and I feel like at the end of the day as long as there's a market there's still a hierarchy and I would rather be there be no hierarchy, and so there should be no market. And in order for there to be no market and no hierarchy, there should be no scarcity, right? And so I'm like a post-scarcity person, where I believe that there should be we should move 
beyond any sort of scarcity and just get right to the fucking Star Trek. That's what I'm about. I feel like there are ways for us to realistically move toward that with our currently existing technology if we collectivized toward it, right? It's I, I argue we're already post scarcity. It's just a matter of uh, logistics and uh, finance. So it's not that difficult. Uh, rabbit, right, but, but if we keep, if we keep talking rabbit. about markets, I'm just saying if we keep talking about markets like they're a thing that need to exist, we're never going to get there. One. Um, so you realize indigenous communities have. communist and anarchist societies long before most of the rest of the world, right? And has been the longest standing successful ventures of that pre-colonization. Oh, and I have a new book, uh, Anarchism in Africa, actually. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, there's that one. Um, and rabbit. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's rabbit's problem. I made the mistake of actually reading Marx. I was never going to be a Marxist after that. Um, hey, rabbit. yeah, that is a thing. Um, Wilhelm markets are for silly people. I know in soccer. Okay. Um, let's see. and Oh, um, Shala, um, Shala said something earlier that caught my eye. Um, oh, usually communist systems had this had socialism as an objective, but they also built massive authoritarian states to prepare for socialism, and by this way couldn't achieve it by building paradoxically an elite to pursue this goal. And I mean, this is Jesus Christ. I've read this fucking quote like I've already read it once on stream tonight. I've read it probably five times in the last week. This is Bakunin's critique of Marx. And it, this is this is day one. This is first international shit. Um, it has always been this way between the anarchists and the communists. Um, Marx is an authoritarian. Remember, this is Mikhail Bakunin speaking. Uh, Marx, Since when has this first criticism of Marx existed? This literally at the first international where Marx and Bakunin went head to head. So like what year? Well, you, 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 uh, was you first international eighteen what? Um, somebody give me a. Uh... Okay. Oh, the, okay. Okay. So about so about two hundred and twenty years later, a lot of new exciting forms 64. of being able to control the populace exist. Sixty four. Um, Jay. Uh, control the populace. Um. Yeah, it was it, first international means girls, uh, mean girls, the frat boy edition. No, it really was. It is the most petty shit um, because Bakunin had accurate critiques of Marxian uh, f uh, philosophy, shall we call it. Uh, they literally kicked the anarchists out and refused to let the, uh, and didn't invite them back for the second international when it happened. Right. Like this is this is mean girls, petty shit. Like it really is. Um. And it, so Marx is an authoritarian and a centralizing communist. He wants what we want, the complete triumph of economic and social equality. But he wants it in the state and through the state powers, through the dictatorship of a very strong and, so to say, despotic provisional government. That is the, by the uh, that is by the negation of liberty. His economic ideal is the state as sole owner of the land and all kinds of capital, cultivating the land under the management of state engineers and controlling all industrial and commercial associations with state capital. We want the same triumph of economic and social equality, but through the abolition of the state and all that passes by the name of law, which in our view is the permanent negation of human rights. We want the reconstruction of society and the unification of mankind to be achieved, not from above downwards by any sort of authority, nor by socialist officials, engineers, and other accredited men of learning, but from below upwards by the free federation of all kinds of workers' associations liberated from the yoke of the state. This has been from, like, moment one with anarchists and communists. Yeah, our, our goals kind of seem similar, but... When you break, I agree with. I agree with, not that much of it. I I, I agree with some of it. I, okay, I'm gonna level with you. Personally, when I hear that, and I, 
you know, you're a musician, right? No. You're a music. Okay, well, you know what transposition is, though, right? Not in like music. A, like, like when you, tr do you know, like what transposition into a different key is? Nope. Okay, well, like, let's say something is in the key of A, right? Like, ah, uh, ah, uh, 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 and I transpose that into the key of B, and it's like, ah, uh, uh, but that's literally what that means, right? And if I transpose what it sounds like you're saying into the 21st century, what I come up with is also not good, but, like, if, if you, uh, Put some tweaking around the edges, right? Maybe we could just... Instead of obeying God, maybe the technocrats could just replace God. And, 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 and maybe Sterner we could... would like um, a word. And, and maybe we could, uh, okay, this, this sound, I know that this sounds, uh, I was just a bit to use an ableist slur there. I know this sounds like that, but, um, you have to realize that, uh, things like machine learning are approaching at such a, a scary and or exciting pace. And you get to be on the side of whether it's scary or whether it's exciting for you and your life that's a th that that's th you basically get to decide whether you like it or not i'm sorry um so so maybe instead of us trying to break down god and the hierarchical power structure uh like it like it's been presented to us by like fucking dumbass christians and shit like that maybe the smartest of us which is definitely not me, by the way. Uh, like, the the actual technocrats might be able to build up a new power structure in the form of a computer to manage society. And this is literally what I believe. Because I don't believe that human beings are able to manage themselves anymore. I'm sorry, I'm only 30 years old and I've already seen enough to make myself believe that human beings are not able to manage themselves as a free and democratic society. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you I, what. I, I'll, I, I, give I, you, I'll... I'll give you that so long as we have uh, 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 indigenous only people that are taking that into consideration and doing the whole entire control of that. Because I'm sick and tired of white people telling me that I must live how white people live just so that they can get their rocks off and jerk off on me because they're fucking pedophiles and sycophants and fucking nasty. Um, can we not color an entire race yeah, yeah. with the accusation hey. of pedophilia? Hey, yeah, you know, you know what? Lost you. It, honestly, lawsuit. I would 100 percent like it, if there if there were a fucking like foolproof, uh, like master fucking being to hand the race over to, uh, I would give it to tribal elders. I'm not gonna fucking lie. Now that sounds racist to do, I guess. Uh, but like, uh, I'm kind of at that point. I, uh, like, 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 like I'm, I'm kind of at the point of like, if there were some fucking master computer, I would give it to the tribal alders. I'm kind of at that point at the same, uh, that kind. I'm already at that point because I'm at the point of like, if I could just hand shit off to some fucking, uh, yes, authoritarian uh, fucking computer mommy, I would do that too. If the computer mommy could be fucking lost Sue's people, I would love that way more. Or or even my people. That'd probably it'd, it'd be fine. But um like literally anything other than literally other literally anything other than like white capitalist fucking imperialist pigs is like we're destroying the planet very soon. How about, about how about Chinese how planet. about Chinese capitalists? Are they okay? 
they seem to be destroying the planet pretty g quickly too. I don't see, know. you see how blanket statements with these qualifiers end up problematic. Literally, at the first logical step you take, let alone some ad uh, ad reductum territory. Like this is the thing. Like, look, I, am, I understand. I am, I am absolutely counting on the fact that we developed this technology first, because I'm on that side of the fight. I'm sorry. Um. I, I, all I'm, right. I, I'm 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 an active I'm an active agent and somebody that wishes that we are the people that gain superiority in the information fight to to not to not nuke the other side of the planet. Out of, yeah, I, I know it's it's like fucking arm Hey, pu what? hey, right? puppy. Hey, squid. I'm gonna I, pull the I'm pulling the plug on this discussion. I'm sorry. I, it is I, happening. Okay. It is my prerogative. Know. Um Well but but I well if you're going to pull the plug on it, I would like to know like what your counter to this is. My counter is that okay, do you want a technological counter, IT guy? Here you go. You don't understand the black box problem yet. And you're gonna hand over the fate of humanity to uh, to an entity that we don't comprehend. You figure out I, the you've solved the black box problem with uh, with a general AI, and then we can talk. You never solved the the black box problem. That's something that's going to continue as long as we exist. There you go. But, but, uh, uh, actually, so you but, can't but, you can't even guarantee that the paperclip scenario won't happen. Any more than you can guarantee that we won't fucking elect people that are going to bomb little kids. It's part of a no, scenario. No, but at least, at least one won't turn out to be a god on Earth. No, they're basically both gods on Earth. I would just like for us to eventually have one that is more for uh, as long like logical. As, for as long as death reigns supreme, humanity will be able to self-control itself. But in the event of the creation of a general artificial intelligence... We, ha we open the door instantaneously to a problem set the likes of which our species has never even encountered before. It is irrational, it is irresponsible, and it is childlike to open that door. Personally, I feel like the greatest threat that we have not encountered yet is ourselves and the things that we can do to ourselves, and we should probably have that mitigated. And yes, that's not even including the inherent biases of the programmers themselves. Now, now we cur we currently rely on ourselves, like through the forms of governments, in order to mitigate the worst harms that we can do to ourselves. That is a fact. Uh, it, in in coming terms of shit like uh, global warming, I feel like we should probably mitigate ourselves a little bit further and maybe just uh take the human elements of like corruption and shit like that out of entirely now naturally if you're going to have uh algorithms deciding how human society is run you're going to need some pretty no, top-notch security we're not, security we're not talking about algorithms we're talking about an actual general artificial intelligence that is far beyond what an algorithm set is. Artificial intelligence is an algorithm. Machine learning is even a set of algorithms. I'm sorry, bud. Sorry. Hey, you, you do realize that even machine learning is just fucking algorithms on algorithms, right? It's a set of computational instructions is what an algorithm is. Yes. But yes. we and don't machine know. Learning, machine learning is that. Excuse me. Machine. Done. I'm okay with a respectful conversation. I'm okay as long as you maintain your level. But the instant you become disrespectful to myself, chat, or anyone else, and you start speaking over people like that, then the conversation has ended, and now a yelling match is about to begin. Kodo, you're more than welcome to stay on the channel. You're more than welcome here, but a little bit of control a little bit of moderation. Um, oh, Fertuz is lined up there. I, I want to apologize to hey everyone for my outbreak. My apologies. 
Oh. But I was getting a little frustrated. <sighs> um. How are you doing, folks? I, hey, hey, you French bastard. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, that is my traditional greeting to Fertus at this point. I always greet Fertus as my French bastard. Um, uh, it is delightful. So. Yeah. So one point that that speaks to, to me is the the problem with um, allowing people to self-govern, right? Um, hang on. Uh, um, Sue, do yeah. you do you know Eris? Eris on Discord is yelling, Lost Sue, oh my god, remember me. <laughs> so I don't know. Um, either way. Yeah, hi, Eris. Um, Kodo, you didn't get accidentally cut off, as I explained already to chat. Um, you were intentionally cut off. I'm perfectly okay having a reasonable conversation. But the instant you start yelling, the instant you start speaking over people, the instant you start bulldozing, then it's ceased being a conversation. Um, more than welcome in the community, more than welcome to stay, more than welcome to voice your opinion. Um, but in the future, a little bit more self-control on the line. Always appreciate it. Um, take a minute to take a breather, cool down a bit. We'll go from there. For Tus, anyway, sorry for cutting you off. <laughs> No problem. It's not Fortus, it's Lord Farquhar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, self governance, like, I, I feel it's important to stress out that we are able to self govern. And the, um, like, one, the, the example I always bring back is the, the one of Toyotism, which implies that uh, the lowest employees can uh, suggest modification to the assembly line yep. and better it. So there, there's been evidence that allowing people to um, propose modification to their um, working stations and, and overall you know, their living condition be allow, um, allowing, empowering people to uh, make that kind of change has a very positive effect. It does. Yeah. And I think it's <laughs> like we are very culturally, culturally suppressed. And that's the, the cornerstone of uh, what, like, we left this called alienation. Like, we are dispossessed of our capacity to change things and we only see um, change possible through the empowerment of other individuals, so-called leaders. And we are like culturally pushed to seek those powerful individuals to reign over our lives. And the first thing that we ought to do to liberate ourselves is empower ourselves and each other. Um, to, to think and enable ourselves to believe that we can improve our situation, that we can improve our society, and that through cooperation, we can do better. Uh, <clears throat> no, I mean, this is, this is, you know, core tenet of anarchism, right? Like, I mean, that's what, hey, okay. <laughs> Uh, th thank you for the gift sub, Kodo, and congratulations, Rabbit. Um, this is what autonomy is about, right? Like, this is, this is core tenet territory of anarchism. Um, once you reclaim that individual autonomy, that self-ownership, that self-actualization, shit looks different. It just does. Once you're, once you're empowered within your own life, within your space, your decision-making changes. The choices that you make oftentimes are radically different but uh, from what they would have been otherwise, right? Without options, without choices, things look differently. And it's been taught to us at a very early age. Um, have you heard of uh, what's the learned uh, helplessness? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Autonomy is cringe. I'm sorry. I'll see you later. Uh, Kodo, 
you're using your individual autonomy to make that decision. I'll see you later. <laughs> Just, yeah. I couldn't, I couldn't, I could not. Like, you throw me a softball like that, I got a swing, right? Uh, no shit. Oh. And, and I am sorry. I, I try not to blow up like that. My apologies, but. Apology accepted, just, sir. Uh, um, yes, we just got too much sounding like the same shit, just in a different pile. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> like, in my experience, like the um, I'm always going to 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 roll back to my experience as a game developer. Um, What's advantageous in that line of work is that you are made to cooperate with people with very different set of skills and very different attitudes to what they work. You're going to have your creative on one corner, your uh, technical staff and uh, the resource managers, your producer, people who yeah, watch the, the clock and the purse. Um, we, in, in that line of work, um, like we sure need some oversight, and by by that I need I mean someone who um, is going to be put in, in a position of leadership, but um, not in a way that you know commands. Just is able to have a bird's eye view of the situation and be and going to be able to guide uh, work. In a sense, it, it's it's interesting. Like I always take take people to the um, uh, the example of oh, Eris. I didn't. I'm not ignoring your question. Just give me a second, and I will respond to it. Um, like an anarchistically operated coffee shop. Imagine a position where uh, where there's a manager of a business that doesn't have power to fire people. Right, like that's sort of like the microcosmic example of what we're talking about here is you need somebody yep. with that oversight position that is able to survey the battlefield as it were. And but you don't need somebody with undue authority. You don't need somebody who has a position of coercive power over uh, over the people. Yeah. It's just not necessary. Yeah. What may be very um optimistic about that is in the the last company i worked for uh in the environment uh section they couldn't get someone to take the lead no one wanted the organizational power uh it fell onto the youngest one who was very like he had to be dragged the the senior um like was very much um uh, involved into making environment didn't want one bit of uh you know the spreadsheet bullshit uh and the, the meetings and um it was delegated to um well to, to to the youngest member um so the one thing that tells me is there are people around here who are very much more interested in doing the work and doing good work than to boss people around and um it's something that i find very like uplifting in a, in a way and control uh, well conversely i found that authority lies not necessarily in um attract hierarchies uh, not necessarily in you know power structure but in the control of information because the the people who uh were a drag on the project were um misinforming uh the 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 team was like having discussion with a and then relay uh, relayed um what their interpretation well what was beneficial to them uh in terms of information to be and then through those means through obscurity through um basically lying to, to each other coercing even coercing people to um rag on someone else's work they uh try to achieve their their um 
their objective within the project. And it was even like, um, it was very much power for power's sake. Like just, I want to see my vision realize even though uh, I completely like vision, some, something horrendous and uh, you'll find in many, I think, petty bosses. Well, I mean, and most petty bosses that you find engage, for those of you that have engaged with petty bosses, um, most of them you find that they are merely a microcosmic reflection of a macrocosmic, um, you know, techno-fascist society, right? Like this is, they are, they are just the bully who was bullied sort of situation, the abuse victim who becomes the abuser. Um, they reflect that back, the expectations of society that have been placed upon them. This is how things work, therefore that's how they work. Um, Eris, long story short, I have no fucking clue how. That's the long and short of it. Um, sorry it took that long to get to your question, Eris, but it's, it's the long and short of it, Eris, is I don't know. Um, I, I honestly don't know. Um, I wish I fucking did. Trust me. Um, Rabbit and Amorous having a fucking back and forth about transposition of music into the and Amorous uh, brought up that uh, C, uh, the key of C is purity. Fight me. And uh, <laughs> so Amorous and C, uh, Rabbit are having a, a back and forth on that, which, by the way, fucking hilarious. Um, let's see. Um yeah, and then people discussing how, uh, you know, how would the AI enforce itself? Um, yeah, a whole fucking thing. Um, no, that's, that's, that's a whole other, that's a whole other thing, um, Eris. That is a specific subset. That's acute onset, not chronic. Um, I know what you're reading. Um, but yeah, if you want to know more um, for about what mine is, it's uh, just look up small fiber polyneuropathy. Um and you'll find some stuff there. Yeah, that's a whole other ball game. Um, uh, yeah, I couldn't tell you the Lime Labs off the top of my hat uh, be over, but I have a buddy from um, uh, way back um, that had Lyme disease undiagnosed from his teen years. Did a huge fucking number on him. I've talked about him before. Oof. Hey, Amorous. Uh, pff, fuck it. Okay. Uh, enjoy your food. Um, um, <laughs> fair enough, Don. Um, using that autonomy to come back, I see. Using your autonomy to come back, Kodo? <laughs> uh, enjoy your terrible music, I'm Russ's rabbit. Um, Dauntless. I, I I understand where you're coming from, but when you can step back and look at some place like Zomia, that's a stretch of land that encompasses like a hundred million. Uh, Eris wants to know if you hate them, Sue. No, I don't hate you, Eris. Um, there you go. There's your answer. Um, be satisfied with it, for fuck's sake. Um, <laughs> uh, what is the most? Uti what if the most utilitarian thing is actually a paperclip? Um, nice, Mister. Um, yeah, hate requires effort. Too lazy. Rye, that's where I've arrived in my old age, basically. Hate takes t just takes way too much energy. I just don't have that in me. Um, hate is a young man's game. Um, <laughs> that's... It is. Um, dauntless. With things like Zomia, which is a loosely affiliated, it's a, a section of land stretching from like Southeast Asia all the way over to the border of Pakistan with 100 million people in it, operating by sort of like anarchistic, tribalistic principles. Um, you know, places like Kospaya, which is a microcosmic example, which lasted for 375 years. <laughs> Fuck 21. You meant 12. Um uh, you know, there, there are, you know, in indigenous communities, the Iroquois League or the Iroquois Confederacy or the Iroquois Federation, whichever reference you to fucking, whichever English language reference uh, you use to reference it, um, you know, uh, Rojava, um, you know, uh, fucking, oh, what is the one that always slips my mind in the UK? We have a community member whose fucking grand, great grandfather helped set the damn thing up. They were a bunch of Tolstoyists. Um, either way, um, 
with is numerous examples of anarchistically operated societies scaled from, you know, from small communitarian, we outproduced the papal states and became a threat to their actual <laughs> commerce system to fucking we had a peaceful thing going on the, the British islands to we went toe to toe with the fucking Red Army twice to in the middle of a proxy war between, you know, in Korea, we managed to set up and feed our people to a uh, middle of a civil war in Spain. We managed to uh, produce 80, uh, I'm sorry, 50% of agricultural in, in industry for our country. Like I, I you know, it, I, Aussie puppy, thank you so much for the prime sub. Um, I just have to, you know, go out on a, uh, it's not even a limb and just be like, look, this shit works. It's just because of a bunch of other assholes that we have the problem with. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not negating that problem set. Um, but as far as anarchists are con concerned, it's just an educational matter. It's just a matter of teaching people. Like, you know, there's a better alternative. There's like a better alternative, right? Like one that doesn't re require you to surrender your whole self to some nebulous system that doesn't, you know, that can have direct participation in it, can be federated, uh, you know, with equity and equality through the entirety of the system. Hey, Eris, thank you for the sub as well. Um, you know, yeah, it's, it's like, right? Like, I'm not fucking new. I'm not a fucking angsty 17-year-old who's like, yeah, anarchy. Like, I don't give a shit about the fucking aesthetics of anarchism. I give a shit about... Oh, here, let's do this. Hang on. Um, oh. I don't know if you're still here, Kaiser, but... So the newest batch, right? Like, okay, so when we talk about anarchism, right? This is... Here's the fucking... Here's the batch now. All right. This, this is Eurocentric anarchism. This is Latin American anarchism. This is African anarchism. This is anarchism in Korea. This is anarchism just in the Chinese Revolution. And this is Japanese anarchism. Right? We. We've. Next, we've you'll need, next you'll need Native American anarchism. Yeah, and uh, trust me, this, the minute I find a fuck... Yeah, I knew, Kaiser, I could get your attention with that one. Um, there you go. Um, Kaiser. Um, it, it, it fucking works, right? Like, this is the thing. And people are like, well, what about, you know, X, Y, and Z? What about, you know, authoritarians and military and that sort of shit? And you point them to Machno. Well, what about, you know, resource? What about producing? How are you going to... And you point them to Kalspaya and be like, they outproduced an entire fucking... The entirety of the papal states. Well, what about, you know, coexisting with, you know, capitalists? Well, then you point them to Trumbleplex and be like, look, they interface with capitalists on a daily basis. And they still meant they're 26, 27 years old at this point. They're still going, you know, oh, well, that's nothing. Well, Kaspaya was 375 fucking years. It's older than our stupid country, right? Like, you know, well, it doesn't have that many people. Zomi, 100 million. Like, how many examples do I have to be able to pro uh, provide um, before before it's like, look, folks, just just pay attention to the people who came before you. Right. And um, I, I have to say, um, what is it? So wobbly. Uh, mm, no. See, the longest lasting White way. Um, Thank you, Jay. guaranteed unfailure of anarchism was to do with indigenous people who for tens of thousands of years upon tens of thousands of years had anarchism successfully. And one thing that is very important, whenever you're asked to provide examples, remind yourself that if you brought up the, the topic of liberal capitalism in a feudal society, you would have been bought a madman. It's like it, back in like the times of kings, um, the mere thought that people would be able to organize democratically to elect their ruler to, to like that you wouldn't need um, a ruler ordained by God to uh, lord over you was like unthinkable. 
And so just because like anarchy hasn't been the prevalent mode of, you know, organizing society doesn't mean that it doesn't work. It, what it means is by, you know, selection bias, um, it's it's been like crushed every time it popped out by more violent societies. Um, do you think it's possible to be an anarcho-monarchist? No, that's not a thing. Um, the Quakers. No, Che, yeah, it was White Way. Um, Che, if you didn't catch that. Um, let's see. <clears throat> And this Be because back. you literally, how do you know all of these ways to defend post-colonial tribalism but shut down at thinking about a robot running the human race? Because anti-authoritarian, Kodo. Okay, you are, you are literally talking about creating the ultimate authority. God on earth. Human constructed ultimate entity. The, the top tier of authoritarianism. And a, a form of authoritarianism that we can't even conceive of yet. Truly. How can I do that? Because I'm anti-authoritarian. <laughs> this is like all those fucking authoritarian leftists that, during the infrared thing. Like, you know. Did you not pick up from the anarchist vibe that I'm not big on authoritarianism? It doesn't matter if, you, if the authoritarianism is technocratic. I'm anti-authoritarian. <laughs> it's just, it comes with the territory. Spectre isn't going to debate shit. Like, that's the thing with, like, you're going to end up with, um, like, computer Ivy League, if anything. Like, the, um, the idea with technocracy is that the technocrats decide what is competence. And, it, yeah, it's, it, it's not a, a good system. Thank you, Aris. Um, <laughs> Squid is shocked. <laughs> hey, sorry. Oh shit. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, right, uh, Squid. Uh, Fucking uh, shit. Uh, You're anti-authoritarian. I know, right? Like, holy shit. Hi, my name's Kai. I'm an anarchist. That means I'm anti-authoritarian. In okay. case fucking people have trouble with that, apparently. Um. Hey, Kodo, take it down a notch. Fucking uh, Rabbit is a fully accredited uh, college professor of anthropology um, and has numerous titles uh, and essays and pieces and video essays to his name. So take it down a notch. You're speaking to an actual professor. <laughs> like. Credentialism is crazy. Um, Eris. Again, um, I don't have enough time and energy in my life to hate you just because you're an authoritarian. I would contend that that is not a viable ethical position to hold and that there are more productive methodologies uh, that you can avail yourself of. And I would engage into that, I engage in that conversation and I would love to elaborate upon it with you at, uh, at some time. Um, but no, I don't have enough time in my uh, in my day to hate you because you're a self-described authoritarian. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, so there's the white way one. <clears throat> um, uh, rust. Uh, rust is an anarchism, um, Eris. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, Let's see, there was, okay, so there's a da, 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 da. Um, okay. Gotcha, mister. Um, yeah, I know, Che. It's always annoying when people go, anarchism never works, can't work. It works all the fucking time. Um, yeah, oh yeah, people, yeah, and he's referring to Shala talking to you for two, so the pe people who behave uh, like capitalism is an eternal system. It's... And there's Dolby, the racist oh. piece of shit. Yeah. Oh, is uh, Dolby two three nineteen? Is twenty three nineteen? Is that uh, is that a problematic user? Oh, most definitely. Uh, Specter. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Eris, I I'm not a debate, bro. I'm just not. Um. Let's see. Try and catch up to some of this. Um. 
you have problem, problematic you why you get taken out of places, Eris, because you have a racist who likes to claim that apparently, no, now he's not a racist. But every single thing out of his mouth is racism. Hmm. Uh, well, I don't prejudge on um, Doobie. Um, based on your interactions here thus far, I don't know anything about you. I will not let the opinions and uh, or facts of others uh, color how I interact with you. I will interact with you uh, in good faith. Um, and as long as you do such, and uh, as long as you do so as well, we will have a perfectly functional relationship. Um, but I will warn you ahead of time, if you end up down those roads, it will quickly, uh, the pavement will end and the road will get rocky. Um, to some extent, uh, one must remember that when you say X works, the, the question you must ask for what, what are you designing for? To some extent, um, capitalism ha works for productivity. And even so, it isn't even uh, entirely true. Um, the, um, before you say X works, you you must ask yourself, works for what? Um, if, uh, for a, a select few, um, and yeah, <laughs> exactly. and I mean we have we have studies provided to me by you know we have we have a we have an economist on staff um, in the community who's you know dual finance um, and uh, uh, economics. In works in a risk management position with it as a, well, I don't know if I should share that, but within uh, an investment bank um, and is an anarcho syndicalist and provides me with all sorts of fun insight from that aspect or from that position within industry and has provided me with, you know, things such as. <clears throat> Studies showing uh, meta-analysis of how capitalism actually drives down innovation rather than encourages or creates it, right? Like, you know, we have all of these sorts of, you know, a, a Medicare for all would boost wages, expand worker options, and create jobs rather than eliminate them. We have all these sorts of things that are, you know, uh, the, <clears throat> how do I want to put it? The uh, boogeymen of those that support capitalism as it stands uh, as a current system. Uh, yeah, right. Wait, you need a study for that? I know, right? Um, uh, Doobie follows me everywhere. This is my fault. Don't worry about it, Eris. None of you do not bear the weight of another human being's decision. This is this is welcome to an anarchist space. Okay, welcome to autonomy. You came here. You've been perfectly acceptable, perfectly, you know, uh, amenable, amenable, uh, and civil the entire time you've been here. And if somebody happened to follow you in because they're weird and stalkery, that is not your fault. By no means. Um, uh, uh, Lucy, oh, and I saw you earlier, Lucy. Uh, hey there. Um, my dad was a very authoritarian labor socialist and couldn't get into his head that anarcho-syndicalism wasn't about pure chaos and rape and murder and looting in the streets. Yeah, it's it's difficult. Um, <laughs> Wilhelm, the earth is only 6,000 years old. Um yeah, it's it's most assuredly difficult to get that through authoritarians' heads. That if you lift the yoke of authoritarianism off of them, off of the people, that they don't just start stabbing each other randomly. Mm. That, oh yeah, um, th there was this guy uh, I had a heated had discussion with about how well, like th their uh, contention was that without authority, without um, like the police and the military. You, you couldn't establish a society that you needed rules first and then society second and it's a very problematic view that unfortunately i think a lot of people uh, have when they tout that anarchy creates a power vacuum um yeah hey thank you for the follow specter of tv um uh, dauntless I just read that paragraph about, you know, what you've enjoyed tonight and that sort of stuff. And thank you. I, I do make a conscious effort to try and create a space where that sort of thing can happen. Um, hey, PJ, I don't even know where we are today, right now. 
Uh, PJ asked what was the topic so far. We've been all over the map tonight. We're four hours in at this point. Um, but now I think we're sort of settling in on um, authoritarianism bad. <laughs> I don't know. Um, hmm. um, yes, yes, it is, uh, Lucy. Um, let's see. Yeah, oh yeah, Irish sweet is the is sweetest irony, a corporate anarchist. Um, capitalism has a mole. Capitalism does have a mole. Um, let's see. Uh, Fertus is right. The debate is also about the very notion of works and what the purposes are, uh, uh, purposes and are they met? Capitalism works, though, pursue some objective capitalization, but if uh, you change the point of view, it totally fails. Uh, ah, you're fine, Harris. Um, let's see. Um, when you lift the veil of authoritarianism, people just go play Mario Kart. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, someone is very wary of authoritarians. I always imagine anarchy is a, pop a popularity contest. There is still uh, social hierarchies that can form, even within anarchistically organized societies. Um, you know, uh, this is where intersectionalism and definitely sternerists sort of lead the way. Um, because ultimately the sternerists would be of the contention that um, all that's bullshit anyway. Um, um, let's see. Do do. Like there is something that are inescapable. Mm, like sorry, you're right. gonna have you know uh, deltas of skills. You're gonna have younger and older people, and in some way, that is going to to create hierarchies more or less the question becomes how do we respect uh, each other's autonomy how do we allow um, others to decide for themselves how does anarchy help a disaster like corona though and get people to wear masks all right one um okay F first god this is okay i'm sorry for being a pedant right um but Eris is new, and I'm going to... Um, oh, uh, uh, Sternerist. Uh, Dauntless, um, Sterner as in uh, Sterner the Philosopher. Um, and how do I define one? Uh, individual egoist. Um, Eris. So, one, anarchy is sort of like what an indigenous community be, would be operating under. Anarchist is somebody who has the theory. Anarchism is the people who have the theory putting it into practice, right? This is a distinction that anarchists do make because you can be firmly operating a society under an uh, under anarchistic principles, aka anarchy, and have no concept whatsoever of the political science theory of anarchism, right? Totally a thing. Um, so there is that distinction. Now, with that being said, um how does anarchy help disaster like corona numerous uh, aspects one you wouldn't have a president out there telling people that it's all bullshit that it's a it's a fucking you know a, a democratic hoax so you'd curb that one right out of the gate two due to the free association reciprocal relationships if a community decided they wanted to go that route, they would be quickly socially isolated from the rest of the communities. Three, due to that free association reciprocal relationships that communities engage in, they would have uh, they would have more um, more reason to protect themselves and others as a society and as a group. Four, the resource distribution would be more immediate rather than having to go through federal channels of appropriations committees, it can be organized and, uh, fl uh, and flood the community much faster. If you need examples of this, you can point to any sort of disaster area and anarchistic organizational structures that pop out of it. Uh, Korea is a notable example. There is a whole host of anarchists that anarchistic communities that popped up right in the middle of the proxy wars that we were engaging in in Korea. This happens time and again. See, uh, see uh, Spain during their Spanish Civil War. Oh shit, we need to make stuff. How do we do it? Quick, anarchists. So we're pretty good at that sort of thing. And if you want, you know, if you're wondering like how that works, food not bombs is hey, thank you for the uh, follow abnormal uh, abnormal. Um, 
Food Not Bombs is an anarchistic uh, organization that has a hierarchical organizational structure to it and is operating in a hundred and some odd countries these days, um, feeding people where people need fed. Be they homeless on the streets of San Francisco or be they, you know, in some developing nation somewhere. Um, so we're pretty good. Anarchists are super good at organizing stuff. Um, it's sort of our gig. Um, yeah. So there's your answer. Uh, authoritarianism is good for me. And we also added in also vaccine information would have been shared internationally and not afforded for profit. Yeah, we wouldn't do that whole intellectual property bullshit. That's just not a thing we do. <laughs> Um, we wouldn't be profiteering from it either, you right. know. Not just the just not just the vaccine, but the entire crisis. That that wouldn't be a thing, um, unless you're talking about the neo feudalists, aka ANCAPs, um, which are, they aren't anarchists. They're just neo feudalists who don't want to hold their shit position to the light of day. So there's that. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, no, no, no worries. No worries, Eris. You do not need to apologize for that. Um, yeah. Um, let's see. <laughs> che, all the anarchists I know have worn masks and done more than the government suggests to help spread the uh, corona. Um, <laughs> agony. Sorry. I can't help you with that question. <laughs> He either born with it or something or something. <laughs> Fucking rabbit, very thick books is rabbit's advice. <laughs> um, wobbly, so I'm an anarchist because I seek independence? No, no, that's not necessarily. Um, <sighs> collapsing down of hierarchical power structures into a hierarchy or horizontal organizational structure and a philosophical challenging of power and authority mechanisms and a dismantling and replacement wherever they may lie in society, right? This is the core of, uh, of anarchism wobbling. Um, so just because you're seeking independence or, you know, some sort of individualism doesn't necessarily make you an anarchist. But if you are about sort of dismantling and collapsing down of hierarchies and you're constantly challenging power structures and and power dynamics in society and you're like, yeah, we should get rid of that or we should replace it. Or, the, you know, you're talking about like just uh, just power dynamics and, you know, authority mechanisms, then, yeah, you're probably in the camp at least. You know, um, as to what type, you know, mutualist, individualist, sternerist, egoist, fucking take, you know, anarcho-communist, anarcho-socialist, anarcho-syndicalist, take your fucking pick. There's plenty of, plenty of room in the tent. It's just a matter of you got to figure that one out for yourself, probably. Um, let's see. <sighs> Fuck Gates and AstraZeneca. Um, <laughs> great at organizing, terrible at deciding where to go for dinner. Um, uh, Percy Pants, could you organize the building of 5,000 T-34 tanks? Uh, t I, I believe you, it ranks a month. Um, yeah, it's going to be tanks. Um, in fact, 50, again, I tell people this all the time. This is an easily researchable fact. Um, you can, you know, if you want fucking Noam Chomsky, he can explain it. Um, but 50% of agriculture and industry um, during the Spanish Civil War was produced by anarch uh, anarchists living on communes, anarcho-communes. Like, that's just a thing. Like, yeah, we can build tanks. Um, Makhno in Ukraine was the most successful example of anarchistically organized militias. And if you want to read more about it, you could read about Makhno or you could read, uh, um, homage to Catalonia by, uh, George Orwell, AKA Eric Blair, um, or Eric Blair, AKA George Orwell, I suppose. Uh, and in homage to Catalonia, he talks about how anarchistically organized militias actually operate in the field, um, and what that looks like. Um, yeah, so that's, that's, that's a thing. Um, uh, Ariso is Rusty and Cap then? Yeah, probably. They're, they're neo-feudalist. Um, mutual aid societies. We had a huge storm and our resiliency was clearing, um, branches and fallen trees before city. We'll distribute needed fuel. Exactly, Lucy. Um, 
Let's see. Oh my god. Talk about fucking. I thought you were going to bed, bro. Take a take a pill. Um <laughs> let's see. Yeah, exactly. IP. May I ask your policy on criticism of the current administration in your chat? <laughs> fucking whatever, Dauntless. <laughs> Kai, may I ask your policy on criticism of the current administration in your chat? I uh, don't know what the etiquette is with that, and I don't want to be rude. Not interested in talking about who he, hey, who he must uh, not be named, though. I don't give two shits, Dauntless, right? I'm an anarchist. Presidents are, uh, like, the pinnacle of hierarchies, um, and fuck all that shit. <laughs> Fucking, you want to talk shit about Biden? Talk shit about Biden. If you want to talk shit about Trump, talk shit about Trump. If you want to talk about heart, shit about Harding, talk shit about Harding. I don't care. Um... You do you. Um, yeah, with anarchist organization, there would have been mass distribution, food distribution, and no fucking landlords. Uh, ever considered a book club? Googleizer, I actually have considered that. Um, maybe one of these days we will do it. Um, is an anarchist republic a thing? PJ, yes. The anarchistic republic of Kospaya is my favorite anarchistic uh, example. Uh, example society. Not huge, but referred to as the Anarchistic Republic of Kospaya. Um, technically defined uh, from a political science perspective would be uh, in anarcho-communitarians, um, but yes, they were considered a republic. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, we will come for an AMA on... Uh, Calopian Club, a Discord. We had Destiny over the weekend. Hmm, interesting. Uh, Christian anarchist. Yes, they are a thing. Anarcho-transhumanist. Technically, I mean, I'm a transhumanist. I, I argue we're all transhumanists. Just cross the board. The instant we picked up the rock and hit something with it because our fist wasn't hard enough, congratulations, you're a transhumanist. You know, glasses? Yes. Congratulations, transhumanist. You know, if you ever use a phone? Yeah, well, you can't yell that far. You're a transhumanist. You're, util you're utilizing technology to uh, to uh, adapt and enhance your uh, innate human properties. You're a transhumanist. Um, I, I argue that all human beings are transhumanists, uh, plain and simple. Um, let's Wilhelm, that's enough to get fucking ban that's enough to get banned, Wilhelm. Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> um you rabbit, huge fans of Biden here. We're all massive Democrats. Um You seem like a lovely human being, Percy Pants, especially given that you have an account that was created an hour ago. So I'm going to take everything you say with a grain of salt. Um, have I considered adding closed captions to my streams? Aussie Puppy, I have considered it, but I got to tell you, a lot of those plugins just don't fucking work correctly. Um, yeah. Well, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um... What's the, uh, what's the, there's only one, right? And, um, yeah, there's only one closed caption fucking plug-in, right? Oh, and yeah, you gotta run, uh, I'll look into it, because you gotta run a whole other session of Chrome to make it work on your system. Which I'm not against, don't get me wrong. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll look into it. Sorry, I didn't catch that last part. <laughs> Funny. Um, yeah, I, I, oh, fuck Post-it note number two. <laughs> there we go. There's that one. Um, uh, Master P. Let's see what I was. I voted for Trump. Well, good for you. Um. Um, uh, dauntless. Um, it's it's. I I feel you. I feel you, dauntless. He missed a part that you were talking about that some of them wouldn't work properly. That's what Puppy was asking about that he missed. Okay. Um, 
Speaking of book plugs, stream podcast is starting after the 27th. We're starting with... Fuck it, eh, squid. We're starting with the new Jordan Peterson if you want to jump in and make fun of the Muppet. I got... Oh, boy. Dude, I got a reading list a mile long. I don't know if I have fucking time to <laughs> fucking read Jordan Peterson. I already spent like an evening with Kat on Discord reading that stupid anarchism occultism book that claims socialist communists um syndicalists and anarchists are all puppets of the illuminati it would not just puppets but were created by the illuminati and shit like that fucking god that book was insane um oh, one good um one of the chapter of uh, 12 new rules for life is uh, he, he titles it uh, don't stay in the fog which is like he, he goes into a meandering way to say you shouldn't like you should be open with your emotion and talk talk to people um about how you feel <laughs> cool he seems like um <clears throat> all right how do i he seems like the like live laugh love right he seems yeah. like my impression from him is just that he like uh, academizes, academizes, is, 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 um, he he intellectualizes um, commonplace knowledge, right? Like, you know, you got to just leave that in the past and move on. Th thanks. Thanks. Wow. That's super useful. I'm sure that'll replace my cognitive behavioral therapy sessions. Right, like he, he seems like that's the kind of advice he gives is just rebranded, just cliches. Uh, Lucy's got a question for you. Um. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, fucking uh, Lucy! I didn't even know like you wanted one. I'd fucking I'd happily give you one. That's no big deal. Um. Yeah, you know the deal. We just fucking don't. We just don't run the command because, well, <laughs> we get all kinds of shit talkers in here. Otherwise, yeah, um, oh, it's yeah. a whole fucking thing. Uh, Lucy, check your uh, check your whispers. Uh, the chapter titles are vague plat uh, are very vague platitude that could hit the mark and be decent, useless advice. But in the chapters proper, it gets so toxic. Oh, very interesting. Um. Sweet <laughs> agony. I, I hate Jordan Peterson. I, I, you know, I don't have any. I don't have any like animosity towards Kermit the Frog. So, you know, whatever. Fuck that guy. <laughs> um, I, I just always, I, you know, yeah. He seems like he seems like he, for a guy who tells people that they shouldn't be giving advice or telling people what to do if they can't even cl clean their own room, and then he does a stream where he's literally just in his own filth like that just room was just a shithole seems you know like maybe you know <clears throat> um hey don't get me wrong you know we all been at the gamer days when you know we sat there on a game and like completely let everything fall around around us but <laughs> exactly kermit should just sip his tea yes he should he should just shut the fuck up and sip what his do tea. you mean we like it's in the past no, I'm, <laughs> there, bro. Uh, I'm fucking there right uh, <laughs> for uh, yeah. uh, he adds unnecessary jargon to common sense to the point it's essentialist claptrap it's practically poor richard's almanac read by kermit the frog all right. Nice to see. Nice to see my my impression of Jordan is correct at least. Like having never read him, uh, you know, it's nice to see my my instincts are on point at least with that one. Uh, yeah. And that meshes back with the fact that like we we need authority figure to, so to speak. So, While well, some people need them, and the by masquerading as you know deep or you know intellectual when you you put in that very shallow barrier to entry and make people feel that they've understood something you can like masquerade as um some kind of elite 
guide to, to, to those folks, and it's, it is sad. Well, I mean, this is fucking, oh god, this is the internalized fucking hierarchy, right? Yep. Like, it's just, dude, fucking individual autonomy, it's the way to go. Just stop. Stop trying to be that guy. Yeah. Uh, and, um... I haven't explained the, the, the notion of uh, learned helplessness. Uh, have I talked about uh, this on here yet or not? Oh, oh Jesus okay. Christ. So, hold, hold on. Can we... Can, fucking, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm engaging. I really should just ignore it, right? Like, that's just this fucking it, literally our old account who fucking... Just doesn't understand shit about shit and because i mentioned orwell once has got their panties in a bunch but the fact <laughs> fact of the matter is is that okay let's talk about indigenous communities let's talk about the iroquois confederacy or league using direct democracy and federated inter anarchistic principles how about we talk about zomi how about we talk about rojova how about we talk about Kospaya? how about we talk about trumbleplex how about we talk about uh, white way how about we talk about any of these other things that you clearly probably don't have any reference point for whatsoever or we could talk about the fact that the the few anarchists that actually uh found uh found positions within that government were anarchists that actually talked about anarchistic principles and said, hey, this government is forming whether we like it or not, so wouldn't we rather have a seat at the table and be able to voice our opinions rather than not? Or would, do, would we rather be excluded entirely from this discussion? Hey, Cappy. And with that being said, I am done. Um, I am, I'm pretty much done with that. Um, abstract and irrelevant. Smell <clears throat> patron. So anyway, what were you saying for two? So I'm sorry. Uh, it's it's your stream. Uh, like, I'm happy to be here. Anyway, uh, the um, the idea of uh, learned helplessness. So there's there was a psychology experiment performing <gasps> dogs and uh, content warning. It's not friendly to dogs. Uh, the idea was they they shocked. Uh, they like gave electric shock to, to dogs to prepare them to uh, be responsive to them. And then they built a box with uh, a um, like a little wall uh, separating two ends. In one end, the dogs was placed, there were electrodes on the floor, and there was like shocks uh, sent to the dogs. So the, the idea was to compare trained dogs, which is meant dogs that have been shocked to untrained dogs and see their uh the, at which speed they react to the, the stimulus quote unquote and what they figure out is the untrained dog just jumped over the wall without problem to escape the shock but the trained dogs just laid there and waited for the shock to end because they learned that they were helpless couldn't escape it in um like human terms, we are taught from a very early age that we cannot escape hierarchies, we cannot escape judgment, we cannot escape like from the school that gave us grades and authorities that give us like pass or uh, not pass or pass or fail uh, judgments to the to the work to uh, like every step of the way in our lives we are taught that we are helpless to change our life that we are not autonomous that we cannot like think for ourselves and therefore if we um like we need as a society to learn how to yeah again i'm gonna harp on it that we need to regain uh, autonomy and power over our lives um, yes, rabbit. Experimental psychologists do have issues. Don't look into the history of that. <clears throat> Generally, the medical field is, in its entirety is a little sketchy when you start rolling back the clock. <laughs> Let's just say the, the the manner by which we arrived at a lot of our information, not very ethical. <laughs> um, yeah, it's it just, you know, yeah. It's a thing. Um, so either way, developmental psychologists are literally the reason we buy our bees. Oh Lord. Oh, um, uh, 
Oh, Capone's, where's Capone driving to? I'm, I'm so happy I found this, dude. He's so fucking hilarious. Um, let's see. He's doing the Croydon London Park Royal to Croydon Run right now. Um, Is it that time? I don't know. I just wanted to look. Oh, Jesus. He's six hours into his work day. Uh, I just wanted to look around, right? Like, um, Oh, he's parked. He's actually, he's at a rest stop. He's parked. Good for him. Get out and stretch your legs. Um, who knew you needed a rule that said you are indeed not allowed to torture kindergartners? Um, yep. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I mean, this is the thing. If you look into the history of, of oh, Jesus Christ, I don't even want to mention his name on air, but if you look into the history of Ted Kaczynski, um, he was he was one of those people that went through a governmental program, right? They they uh, he was part of a government or uh, government organized um, collegiate level experiment that fucked that dude's brain. They fucked him up, like for real. And th if you read the history of it, of what went down there, it was it was like yeah, they turned him into what he became. Like, there's a certain level of responsibility there. There's culpability on the part of the college and the government. It was fucked. Um, now, don't get me wrong. That's not an excuse to go pipe bombing half the country. <laughs> but there's, you know, there's context to that situation for sure. Yes, serious. That's who that is. Yeah, he was a genius, but broken as fuck. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was MK Ultra adjacent. Um, yeah, it, it's <laughs> Jay. And why exactly do we need to rape monkeys for this study, Professor? <laughs> exactly. Yeah, there's 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 a lot <laughs> because my mom didn't love me. <laughs> oh, that is actually uh um. Physical and sexual and emotional abuse of a young male by a maternal figure is the number one predictor for creating a serial killer. Shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is why I'm not even going to go down that road. Yeah. Oh, jeez, Che, that was an actual thing that happened. Lovely. Uh, yeah, Doc, and how did they find that out? Oh, um, it's, I mean, that's just correlation of study. Um, serial killers get studied probably more than anybody else. Uh, the instant we nab a serial killer, there's just teams of psychologists and grad students that just fucking swarm them. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but it's true. We study the shit out of serial killers. Oh, uh, mister, feel free to use the Alex Jones button. If you want to use it, by all means, use it. Um, everybody always enjoys the Alex Jones button. So, it's up to you. Um, yeah, oh yeah, Rabbit. Uh, we all should be anarchists. <laughs> uh, are all serial killer psychopaths? Um, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I well, mean, the, these days we don't... Ladies and gentlemen, wait. Alex Jones here. There we go. Proudly radical. Since I owe Kai a few favors from back in the old days. Uh, shit, I probably shouldn't talk about that. Wait, why are you still recording? I'm fine, fine. Just be sure to edit it out. Anyways, as I was saying, well, this is Alex Jones, and I just wanted to teach the proletariat a few things about anarchism. Anarchism isn't about chaos. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Anarchism is about the people. It's about solidarity and mutual aid. It's about removing unjust authority and hierarchies. We should all be anarchists. The world would be a better place. Now, I'm going to apologize again to all those parents whose lives I ruined because I'm such a douchebag. Jones, out. All right, guy, this has got to make us even for that uh, incident you helped me out with. That's, what the, uh, that's what the Alex Jones button does. Um, uh, the guy isn't perfect in person either, but he's a great voice actor. Like, I really enjoy his uh, um, in, 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 in accentuations and uh, his... yeah, he yeah. he also, yeah, he um, 
he says, like, you know, if you want to write a script for me, like, if you write the script, like, you can tell me, like, you can give me stage direction, but also, you know, like, if you want, I can Alex Jones it up for you. And so he's got enough of, like, an insight into how the dude speaks to be able to, you know, add a little AJ to it. Um, hey, Ramsey. Um... And uh, as far as who I fucking fucking I I, I won't uh, dragon uh, no I mean it depends how you define evil as to whether I will come around on that one um let's see uh um I don't know being able to powers but it kind of makes you so through powers yeah see that's this is this is this is a semantical argument Aussie. Um, yeah. Yeah, plenty of sociopaths are perfectly nice. They are. They're excellent. They're skilled manipulators. Um, that's part, it comes with the territory. Um, Aramzi, what time do you go on? Do you go on today at all, Aramzi? And if so, when? Um, just curious. I know I could probably pull your page and look at your schedule, but I'm feeling lazy. And quite frankly, half of my half of my Twitch job is basically just telling people things that they ask me questions for. Well, welcome to welcome to the club streamer. <laughs> um oh, Jesus Christ, that's so reductionist. A uh, lack of empathetic response. Um, Viking beard man. Yay. Um, yeah, it, it's evil. The closest thing anybody's ever gotten to the definition of evil is, you know, a complete lack of compassion or care for a fellow human being, right? Like that's, if you have no response whatsoever to that, then sure evil. But I mean, American psychologists, uh, American army psychologists studied the shit out of the people who were at Nuremberg and they found, you know, by and large, they were perfectly function functioning human beings. That's, you know, that's a thing. Like there is no evil gene. It's just, just a thing. Uh, it's the day after my birthday and I'm planning to go online, but I slept a bit. Schedule's in 45 minutes. Not sure if I'm making that though. Oh, fuck you, Ramsey. Get on the air now. <laughs> um yes exactly it's good closest thing to evil is my grandpa uh, i held the guy who did the first detailed analysis of sociopathic mri has turned out to be a sociopath which surprised the crap out of him right um so tell me what to do uh fine i will make a reasoned appeal to your something, 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 something. Get on the fucking air. <laughs> uh, yeah. Either way. Uh, let's see. What do we got? 45 minutes. Of, uh, fuck, 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 fuck. Uh, my first husband was a very handsome, charming, educated sociopath. Yeah, that's a thing. Um, let's see. He also was a serial violent rapist and suspect in four murders of... One in Washington Park. Lovely. Lovely, Lucy. Um. <laughs> Amorous. Um, he accidentally included his own brain scan in the control group, ended up getting sorted in the sociopathy group after testing, ended up writing a book about it. Rock on. Um, yeah. I mean, there are, there are those with, you know, um, antisocial personality disorder traits, that do not, um, you know, are not violent masterminds who are, you know, executing sex workers and houseless people on their weekends. Like that's, that's a thing. Like it's, they do exist. Um, in fact, the argument is that the majority of them are that way, not fucking murderous psychopaths, like murderous monsters. Um, It's exactly squid. Squid, squid, uh, squid is part of the Kai translation team. <laughs> Fuck it. Hey. God damn it, Ramsey. Um, his, let's see. The serious thing, uh, the hilarious thing was he had the sociopath checklist. So he went and asked his family, "Do I do this?" And most of them said, "Oh yeah, all the time." <laughs> I love that we can be that like unaware. 
that you know I, I'm like you're a professional in the field you're you're doing collegiate level research on sociopathy and you have no inclination no 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 sense whatsoever that you're you're also a sociopath <laughs> that is that is delicious um Let's see. He ended up doing 17 years and got shivved. Happiest day of my life. It was ter- I was terrified of him getting out. Oof, he nearly killed me. Damn, Lucy. Fuck, that's, that's a fucking story and a half. Um, psychologist being sociopath explains the experiments. Ah. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. With the yelling. Um. Is weird. Have you, uh, has anybody, like, have you guys internalized that? Have you been online long enough um, that you sort of, I've got like a part there today. Um, have you uh, internalized the like all caps thing into yelling? Like, I literally, when I read a statement and it's all caps, I sort of like, it is being. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. It is weird that that's, that's a thing that we've like come to. Some of us, at least. Um, yeah, a few. A few. Um, Shay, luckily, no. Um, eh, Garbors. Um, Garbors. Uh, I wish that making words bold in chat uh, could be useful. Like it's uh, dude, really I, nice it'd product. be great if we had markup. Dude, the, or mark down, not mark up. It would be marked down. Uh, they, they would probably use. Um, yeah, it's... For, em- for emphasis. James Fallon, the psychopath inside. Rock on. Uh, Mr. Test123. Okay. Um, yeah, no. We, we, I see you, mister. Um, so, yeah, it would, be, it would be super useful if we had marked down. Um, but that's, you know, that's, that's not a feature that would make Twitch any money unless they like do, was it Nitro? I forget what other fucking Twitch monthly sub is like subscribe to Twitch and then we'll, uh, we'll give you markdown. I could see them doing that. Um, but yeah, yeah, that'd be super useful. Yeah, the Twitch prime thing. Yeah. Whatever the fuck that thing is. Um. Uh, Wilhelm, I could meme even better. Um, could just have a chat in chat. Hmm. What's I it? I myself am going to go to bed. Um, okay. All have right. a good one. Rest up. Sleep well. Um, let me um, fucking... There we go. If you're not already following Sue, if I can spell lost correctly. Uh, I spelled Sue correctly. Lost is where I fucked up. Um, <laughs> so... Follow, go follow Sue if you're not already following Sue. Thanks for hanging out, Sue. And sleep well. Bro. See y'all later. Love y'all. Take care. Um, all right. Um. Yeah, you're on your own, Ramsey. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, it's, I don't know. Might, uh, says, oh, uh, sassy might. It's like, wait, what? Oh, good night, night. Um, oh. I don't, I just had a weird deja vu for some reason. Don't know why. Um, so it's when you do this four to five days a week, eventually it's bound to happen, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, do I have an opinion on Kyle Kalinske? No. No, I literally don't. <laughs> I, he's, I mean, he's just like, I, I've never watched a show. I've never listened to a podcast. I've never seen him interviewed by anybody else. I'm aware of his reputation, but no. No, I, I, I don't he's have. He's live with uh, progressive tendencies. Um. I have glaucoma, and sometimes even with my glasses, I can't see chat, so I use all caps to see what I'm typing. That's fair, Lucy, and I will take that into account in the future. Um, 
Need meds for the voices. I need half yearly, oh, forgive me, half yearly changes to my meds for my mental health. Hey, do what you got to do. Um, I know one um, one ML streamer that definitely could use a little, <laughs> a little something in the morning coffee. Jesus, that dude is that dude is nuts. Um, uh, just uh, to, to be sure, Lucy, do you know how to zoom in browser? Oh yeah, I mean if they're if Lucy's on app, it's a whole other fucking thing. Um, yeah, oh, oh yeah. yeah, he's you're right, Wilhelm. Technically, I should be saying Stalinist, right? He isn't just an ML. He's also got some weird Maoist tendencies. Shift scroll if browser. Um, also, um, like control plus control minus. If you want to do uh, it's iterate. Control scroll. Uh, well. well. Scroll. Depends on the browser. Uh, Firefox is control scroll. Um, no, uh, plus minus also works. Yep. Plus control plus minus works on everything basically. It's fairly universal. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, but it screws up apps. Yes, it does. Um, That's fair enough. I'm help. I'm taking a walk to help my endorphins now. It's a bit chilly. That'll wake you up. Yes, it will, Sassy. That it will. Um, Dragon, um, my latest assessment showed I'm psychotic with a personality disorder and severe mood swings. Well, as long as you're aware of it, you're addressing it, you're doing everything within your power to address it, you know, you do you. Yep. Oh, let's see. Um, all right. A Ramsey's just going to miss out. Who's got a single digit streamer? Let's see. Um, you guys know my in my raid praxis. Um, streamers who have single digits only. If you've got somebody you like, uh, we will consider raiding them. Um, uh, basic bitch lib. Uh, ten times out of ten, Viva. Uh, well, dep yeah, no. Uh, nine times out of ten. Let me roll it back a little bit. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I have shrimps as well. I also have uh, GTA Capone. Um, but yeah, nine times out of ten, fucking the basic bitch lib is easier to work with. Um, yeah, hey, you're welcome. Uh, you're welcome, Agony. Um, <laughs> right, Gogos. Um, there's no such thing as too late for me, but yes. Um, oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, shit. God damn it, Kaiser, you fucking... Um... Kaiser just caught a ban because I misclicked. Um, that's twice. That's twice tonight I did that. God damn it. Um, squid, um, yeah. Deserved. Um, congrats on the ban, Kaiser. Um, it was bound to happen eventually, you crazy fuck. Um, love you, Kaiser. Um, Arch Sino. Oof. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, Oof. There you go. I'll run the command myself. All right, so let me look um, at this person's stream. Oh, Magic the Gathering. That's what MTG is. That's right. Fuck it. I was thinking um, MG. Telegram? Yeah, no, no. I was thinking MGS. Oh. <laughs> um, good night. Good morning, everyone. Uh, gang, gang, my first band. Oh, fucking. Oh, I'm sorry, Kaiser. Uh <laughs> Keep that up, guys. Because they're taking this personally. Um, all right, let's see. You, uh, Squid. You said you know this person. Uh, oh, jeez. Um, <clears throat> let's see. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, he subbed to me. All right, rock on. I <laughs> know for Kaiser a lot. Oh, I love Kaiser. Kaiser's good people. Fucking crazy as fuck, but I like crazy. Crazy's good. Um, so let's go over and raid. Uh, fucking, I've already forgotten. Arch, uh, Arch Zino or Arch Zino. Maybe overwhelmed by the numbers. Please be kind. Yes, everybody. This is somebody who is a disabled vet and runs like, from what I can tell, a relatively safe space. Um, and is just like playing Magic: The Gathering. So for the love of God. 
don't drag this shit show into there, all right? It's just, <laughs> it's fucking take a breather, decompress, and fucking enjoy yourselves. Um, for all of you who, you know, <laughs> for all of you who may be new to one way or another, I uh, you're quite welcome for the stream. Yes, be nice. Um, Kaisthings.com, K-A-I-S things.com. You can catch all my VODs. Any essays, photography, whatever, all my shit goes on my website, kaisthings.com. I'm on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5.30 p.m. Pacific. Tuesday, Thursdays, 11.30 p.m. Pacific. You've just caught the Tuesday show. And sometimes I take a random day off because why wouldn't I? Um, love you all. Take care of yourselves. Hope you're as well as you can be. Till next time. Take care, everyone. Holy shit.